Welcome, welcome everyone. Uh, very excited to have you all here today. This is the Go Viral and Build a Seven Figure Personal Brand Masterclass. My name is Kian Wong, the founder of Star Producer Academy. With me here today on the panel, we've got the uh, uh, fantastic Ben Hedges in from New York. Say hello. Can you hear us, Ben? I can. Okay, welcome. YouTube Viral Mastery uh, co-founder, you could say, of that course that we're releasing soon. But Natalia Nutting. Hello. From, uh, from the Isle of... White. White. It's not the Isle of White. Sounds great, doesn't it? Yeah. It, does. it sounds very exotic, but it's actually yeah. in the UK, I guess. It's somewhere. just in the UK, rainy oh, place, yeah. You live in the UK, it's exotic. Yeah, yeah that's exotic, yeah. <laughs> and... Uh, Feb, the mysterious Feb from the Philippines. Welcome, Feb. She's our creative director hiding behind the background with her lovely shades. I think uh, helping us record as well. So welcome, welcome. All right, let me just see. I think Stephanus is joining us, but uh, there he is. Better bring him up to the panel. Oh, uh, Fantastic Five then. No fantastic, fantastic Five. <laughs> we were the Fantastic Four. Let's welcome uh, Stephanus as well. Also from the UK, got a lot of Brits here. Ben, you're originally from, well, Hong Kong. <laughs> Who would have guessed? But grew up in London. Come Steph, on, you're, so you're upside British. down. What's Hello. going on? You're upside down. Hello. We're going to go like this. I think it's the uh, oh. weird and wonderful mobile phone set. Oh, there we are. Oh, there we are. That's better. Good afternoon to you. How are you doing? Our chief funnel hacker. I'm very well, thank you. All right, terrific. So the famous Good morning, famous four and five says Jennifer. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So let's get started. We've got a jam-packed presentation. Uh, ben will be uh, uh, joining us a little bit later on for his part of the presentation, and Natalia as well. But uh, Ben, I know you've got to do some things in the morning, but roughly yeah, around nine fifteen our time, in about forty minutes, I'll. I'll message Ben to, to jump back on, but uh, roughly around that time, we'll we'll have you come back to to present the whole viral uh, methodology that we've been using for, for quite a few years. So thanks for joining. Had to say hello to everyone. All oh, right. So you, welcome, welcome, everyone from, let's see where you guys are from. You guys are from all the way from Cambodia. My goodness, Pittsburgh, uh, Pennsylvania. Vania, it's raining as well. Looks like the whole of East Coast is uh, having a bit of a bath. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hello, Malaysia. It's nighttime here. Yes, I believe it's in the evening. Uh, Angel, welcome, welcome. Josh, my man, what's up? Uh, well, who else do we have? I think Dan. Argentina. Woo! Argentina, wow. And Sweden, Dan, welcome. Long Island, Greg Jackson, welcome. Welcome, welcome. So we've Oh, got, Greg uh, is here. Lovely. Uh, oh, Angel, welcome. Mary. Oh, I'm so happy you came, Jennifer. Oh, welcome. Got some guests here. Yes. Janika from Malaysia, which is where I was born originally. So great to have you all. So hola, especially Natalia, so <laughs> a friend of yours, Natalia. Welcome, welcome. All right, let's get started. We will take forever to welcome everyone, but uh, welcome everyone. Let's get started. Um, type a little bit about you know what you do, because this is going to be interactive. It's a 19 minute masterclass and masterclasses are supposed to be partly interactive. Uh, back in the days when I was a budding pianist, <laughs> want to be pianist, uh, we had masterclasses. The teacher would come from around the world and our local teacher would say, hey, we must attend. And every student will go up on stage, play the little thing, and we, we get feedback on the spot. So, um, no, I was just like every Asian kid learning piano. I wasn't meant to be a, uh, a pianist or anything. It wasn't good enough. But, um, yeah, that's really where the original term that I, you know, masterclass came from back when I grew up. That's when I, I don't know about you guys if you've attended a music masterclass or whatever. So that is the purpose. We want to really help people um you know, develop these online skills that are absolutely critical in today's world. New norm. Uh, we're facing a lot of different challenges equally around the world. Um, and, uh, you know, the digital world has transformed the way we do things. 
So if you don't focus on digital marketing, personal branding, video marketing, unfortunately, um, it's going to impact your business, no doubt. So type in a little bit about what you do. You are a transformational change agent for digital health and digital therapeutics. Awesome. Thanks for sharing that, Greg. Type in, you know, what you do. We get, our whole team will be taking notes and uh, we will try it. We'll open up to, to hot seats as well. You can be, you will join our panel if you want to. Uh, freelance video editor and YouTuber. Wow, fantastic. You're going to be hearing from uh, Ben, who's got a couple of million subscribers on YouTube. So how he built that uh, media empire. Um, so type in also some of the other areas of, uh, you know, focus today. Angel, you said help your mum de- decode mums decode their daughter's personality. That's interesting to communicate and connect for a solid relationship. Who here wishes they had a better relationship with their mum or dad? I think all of us. Um, my goodness, that would help change the world. Uh, what else? Type in other things that, you know, what you do and, and also what you want to get out of today's, you know, event, today's 90-minute masterclass. We're going we're gonna to be here the whole at least 90 minutes. It's Monday morning here in New York, 8.30, 8.36 in the morning. Happy to stay. In yeah, I'm very hours. sorry to say it's not Monday morning. It's Thursday. <laughs> you know, I, I think last week when we did this or two weeks ago, I thought it was a Wednesday. Wednesday, all right? Today I'm thinking it's a Monday. It's, uh, I'm, I'm, that's, you know, I'm here. That, that's what happens when you work. I've been, I've been working from home for 20 years, so I kind of lose track of the time. I've been one of the lucky ones to have gotten on the uh, online bandwagon, so to speak. Uh, and you just literally, you know, what are you doing this weekend? You know, working, going out. There's, you know, it's all every day, is, every day is the same day to me. I don't know why I thought it was Monday. It's weird. So, Angel said, I'm learning how to do this all online. Fantastic. Um, yes, I think, you know, mothers would love to be able to connect with experts, you know, no matter where you are. And uh, with Zoom, you know, you can really effectively connect with anyone or anywhere around the world. And with Facebook ads as well, you can target people, cities, et cetera, et cetera. It's a body work for 20 years and I'm excited about my pivot. Fantastic. Uh, Dan, you mentioned your affiliate marketer and a cab driver. Well, Ben was an Uber driver be- before he became a full-time YouTuber just a couple of years ago. So, you know, don't care what background you have, uh, you're going to be in for a treat. So let's get started, shall we? Uh, um, so 90 minutes and then we're going to open up to probably Q&A and hot seats uh, if you want to stay on for an extra 30, 40 minutes. Okie dokie. So let's, uh, let's get started, eh? All right. What do we got here? All right. Go viral and build a seven-figure personal brand masterclass. Ben on the left, or wherever you're looking. Yes, Ben on the left. Stephanus, Natalia, and myself, Kian, on the right. Welcome, welcome. And, uh, you know, yeah, look. If this is interactive, we really want to engage with you. And unfortunately, we can't unmute and put everyone on the panel. It'll be a bit of a nightmare. We've seen what, you know, video bombing has done to people's lives recently. So we don't necessarily want to do that inadvertently for you guys out there who are relaxed and perhaps not so decently, you know, clad (laughs) in the morning and the evening, who knows what. So type in yes or I uh, if you're ready to play full out as our our VIP, VIP buddy and client, Tony Robbins, would say uh, last weekend was the uh, Tony Robbins UPW virtual, who was part of that extravaganza. We were very fortunate to be part of the team to help promote it. Did some of the virtual, uh, the video marketing for it. So it was a lot of fun. Anyway, me, me, me. Fantastic. Thank you. All right. Let's get, let's continue. Let's see. Where are we? Um, well, we are living in an age of what we call, you know, digital and viral disruption and technology is really transforming our world. And it's really making things quite a little bit back to the 19th century. What I mean by that is today's workforce is already 30 plus percent uh, freelance in the US here, right? Maybe different for different company, uh, countries, uh, but we're already about 30 to 40% and it's trending up. We're talking about heading to about 50%, all right, will be expected to be freelancing in the next five or 10 years. 
Now, are you ready for that? Which means job security that we've taken for granted for many generations, literally, uh, is no longer the foundation of our society, unfortunately. We are now going to move towards a very much an entrepreneurial freelancing world, the Fiverr gig economy, as they call it. Hopefully, you're going to be earning more than five bucks a gig, right? So that's where you need to be focusing on your personal brand. Look at the ad there, Fiverr. And there's only five key factors if you want to really assess, you know, success in the online space. It was a fantastic um, uh, presentation, you could say, done by Bill Gross um, on a TED Talk. And he talked about the top five factors uh, that led to about 250 startups. Now, we're in the online space, and that's where I came from. 20-odd oh, years ago, I did the whole dot-com startup world in Australia before I moved to New York five years uh, after that. Um, Timing is number one, is the most, people think it's, oh, how much money do I have? Do I have raised enough capital? That's another reason why people fail in business. They run out of money. Um, is my business model sound? You know, how you charge? Are you targeting the right people? Uh, are you offering incredible service and follow-up, et cetera? Do you really understand the pain points of your ideal customer? Are you targeting the right customer? You don't have to target everyone. People make the mistake of helping everyone in their niche. You got to go micro niche. You got to really look at a sub segment that your story, your experience can truly resonate with. Yes or yes? Right? Does that make sense? Big, big faux pas, big, big mistake that a lot of people make. Thank you, Angel. Uh, you did your first UPW, ready to play full out. Fantastic. Now, the third most important factor, yeah, do you have a big idea? Do you have a great message? Do you have a cool angle to your product or service? Right? What's the big idea you know, for your business? Well, you know, Airbnb allows people to rent out their homes and investment properties to anyone and everyone and thus make themselves a hotel you know, owner, so to speak. Now, the team and the execution, critical because business is a team spot, sport. And if you don't execute your ideas and your business model, blah, 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 it's all for nothing. And you generally can't, unless you're Elon Musk, who here is as talented as Elon Musk? Don't type yes. If you're yes, if you type yes, you shouldn't be here, right? You wouldn't be here. Uh, reality is, oh, me, I've got some real positive people here. So go for it. If you, if you are Elon Musk, then you can do everything yourself. Natalia is having a good chuckle there. Hey, you probably know Angel, right? So anyway, now she's probably super talented. Now, the other aspect is timing. Timing, timing, timing. If you're on a mega trend, you're onto something. There's certain things that happen once every 10 to 20 years that if you ride that wave and you get in, you know, and it's past the early adopters and it's about to go exponential and you ride that wave, you can almost not go wrong. And we are entering different phases of mega trends right now, which we'll get into. Now, mega trend number one is the consulting opportunity, which is exploding. The coaching, consulting, we're going through so much transition, yeah, that people need people to help them to do things, right? Consultants, agencies go out and actually do things for clients or coach people on how to do things. So one or the other. So it's exploding. It's a couple hundred billion dollar industry. Who wants a piece of that pie? All right. Type in yes. It's a huge, huge industry. Thank you, Angel. Um, E-learning, right? That's another mega trend where you're creating courses. We're in the knowledge economy. So these days you can do a Zoom call, record six, seven, eight hours of content, in a week, one hour a week, and boom, you've got a course that you could sell, you know, Udemy, wherever. So it's, it's a powerful way to create passive income. Who here wants residual income? We're going to talk about many ways you can build a massive residual income uh, with the online space. Who Type here who wants to do that, right? Organically, without even paid ads. You don't have to spend a dime and make residual income. 
right? Where you're sleeping, a moolah comes in, you know, you wake up and it's like ka -ching. So that's possible online. Yes, it does take time to build it up. It's not a get rich quick, you know, world, but the internet has accelerated the ability to create wealth. Yes or yes, because of technology. The little guys like us can, you know, leverage the hundreds of billions of dollars in infrastructure invested in online technology so that we can share content on Zoom, teach on Zoom before, how much would it cost to do live streaming like this oh, to people all around the world? It's mind blowing. You know, how long would it take to build websites? How long would it take to, you know, share a gig of videos through Dropbox where well, we can do that with a click of a button, all right? We can really connect the power of video. We're all HD. This is a laptop. I'm not even using a fancy DLSR camera. You know, this is just a home studio, a basic home studio that we can set up. Anyone can set up. So, you know, this is the opportunity to literally work from home, which a certain percentage of us, you know, wish we could if we had that option. Not everyone does. Um, but who does? Type here if you want to be able to work from home, if you want to work from home. All right. As opposed to heading out there with our masks. It's crazy, right? What, what's going on today? Now, e-commerce is the new gold rush as well. The new gold, you could say, the new gold rush. Now, 16% of all retail sales, ladies and gentlemen, are now done online. Think about that. One in six purchases. It used to be just 6% 10 years ago. That's a massive shift. It's already a 600 billion. No, matter, no, no wonder Amazon, Jeff Bezos, is the number one richest Dude in the world, it's insane how much money he makes. It's 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 insanity. Now, who here recognizes any of these guys? Go on, type in. Come on, type in. Who's the guy on the left here? All right, type in. Uh, I don't know anyone on the uh, anyone. Who do you recognize? Come on, there's there's a couple of you know famous dudes here in the middle. Okay, Brendan Bashad. Thank you, thank you. On the far left there with his fantastic set of teeth. Grant Cardone, Uncle G, got Tony Robbins in the middle, the other Gary G, uh, so other Mr. G, Gary, uh, Gary Vaynerchuk, and last but not least, who recognizes this guy's garage? That's right, Ted Ty Lopez. He, you know, had a, like, I think a, uh, hundreds of millions of views for that YouTube video that he had here in my garage, I, and it was just a brilliant pattern interrupt video that got us you know you know who shoots videos inside their garage but inside his garage was a lamborghini which he you know casually flaunted but then he pivots and then he shows you his bookcases his hundreds of books in his garage uh, he, his point was to talk about knowledge and power of getting mentors etc etc but it was done on a cell phone video and we get you know, a lot of people think that if you want to go viral, you got to have fancy equipment. You need fancy red cameras. If you know what that is, it's, you know, 4K cameras, 8K cameras, et cetera, et cetera. But with the power of your cell phone, you can create viral videos. Could you not? If you think strategically, we're going to get into the scripting aspect. Who wants to know the five-step formula to create high-impact Great viral videos, G-R-E-A-T. All right, we're going to be sharing um, a whole playbook. See, a lot of these webinars you attend, they, don't, they give you not as much content as you wished, and it becomes a bit of a pitch fest at the end. So we're going to promise you it's not going to be this. You are going to get our internal playbook, all right, which is about 40 pages of really you know, thick content, which I'll explain. We are creating a challenge. Everyone is doing challenges and we, you know, we think there's a place for what we I had a, a high, I had a go viral challenge, as you can see, just a couple of weeks ago. And, uh, you know, it's really cool to be able to just do simple Zoom videos, just like what we're doing now. And, uh, you know, Zoom has gone from, I think, 10 million users about a year ago to 300 million. It's phenomenal, the growth. So if you're not part of the Zoom boom, uh, you're missing out. All right? I look a bit silly there, don't I? 
So that's the beauty of you know, the power of what we call high impact, low tech videos, because the really the single most important content strategy today is no longer blogging. That's old school. Now, if you prefer to write versus video, fine. If you pre prefer to do audio podcasts, then video, that's fine as well. Regardless, you've got to create content. You're going to become a content machine. Very, very critical. Single most important strategy today, as Gary Vee would say, is video. All right, we've set the stage. Look, look at that. And we're talking about 80, 90% of people are doing video if you are a marketer, right? So if you really want to become a top-notch marketer, get into video. Look at the, the, the growth rate of Zoom. 10 million. Uh, December, that's about near 11 months ago. And then it just... Whoosh, went 20x. No wonder the share prices went up 10 times. Incredible. Disclaimer, I, I don't own any shares. I should have. But anyway, um, so how are you going to stand out, guys? How are you going to really stand out in this, really, this mega trend? You Look, everyone's getting on Zoom. Everyone is getting online to market their products and services. Who here actually regularly runs webinars on, you know, on Zoom? Let's, let's take a look. Me. Anyone else? I lost your video, Ian. Yep. Oh, it's on Sorry. purpose. Yeah, I just had to um, turn off the heating. I was dying of heat stroke. <laughs> I'm back. Am I back? Yes, you're back. Yeah. Okay, good. So, you know, Zoom is really something that you've got to embrace. And it's a beautiful tech piece of technology you can adopt for free. And for like a few $10, $15 a month, you, you've got a webinar platform that you can serve up to, I think, 100 people without spending any more money. It's, and, you know, that's your get started with just 10 people on your Zoom calls. So we had hundreds the other week. People have had 20,000, one of my clients, or Tony, Tony Robbins, you know, the UPW event that we helped put on and promote just a few weeks ago, it was about, I think they had 23,000 the first time they did a Zoom webinar or event, 20,000 people. Can you imagine that? 23,000. Uh, yeah, it's phenomenal. And I think they had 10 or 15,000 recently. So... You know, why are we here? You know, what gives us the right to share a little bit of what we've learned? In my case, over 20 odd years of entrepreneurship. Uh, well, we've, you know, been really blessed to have worked with the biggest names in our coaching consulting industry. I started off helping Fortune 100 companies when I was in my 20s in the, in the, in the mid 1990s. So that dates how old I am. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I, uh, I put on a lot of makeup. No, I'm just kidding. Then Tali says, you don't put on makeup, do you? Isn't no. <laughs> no, you're Asian. Oh, we have an unfair advantage because we're Asian. Like we should be great at math because we're Asian. We should be like, you know, terrible drivers because we're Asian. But no, yeah, we should also I'm be fantastically. Sorry. Oh, okay. Come on. Come I'm sorry. On. I'm sorry. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Come on, we, we love joshing around here, as you can yeah, tell. Yeah, yeah. And it's about having fun. See, look, the, the whole world of presentations and coaching and consulting, if you're not, yeah, she is a natural beauty, isn't she? Absolutely. Oh, Angel, that's so oh, nice. Isn't she an angel? And the whole point is, here's a chance to be fully expressed. I, if you haven't noticed, we all love what we do here, right? Um, it's just part of of our mission to help people do what they love to do, but also make an impact and an incredible income online working from home. And we've been blessed to work with the biggest companies in the world, uh, all the way to startups that, you know, in the late nineties, and as well as the biggest names, as you can see here, Gary V, we did, uh, we did his digital marketing for a 2000 person event sold out. And then from there, this is through success resources, our, our uh, partner, our, uh, you know, major client, you could say, uh, Robert Kiyosaki, you know him, of course. We did this uh, Wealth Masters event 
uh, all around the world. T. Harv Eker, who's, who remembers this dude? You know, he, he sold a couple of million books. The Millionaire Mindset, we did rebranding of his videos and uh, his websites. And more recently, you know, this dude, who you know, obviously you recognize the six foot five of a giant Tony Robbins. We did this website, the London event, you know, did some testimonial videos, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, seven figure launches, uh, you know, 10,000 tickets sold at a London event. Now, who is this masterclass for? Because you're probably wondering, is this for me? Because, you know, you may have been invited by some other folks. You may have seen one of our emails or whatever, however you came across this masterclass. Well, generally, you're probably a coach or a consultant. Uh, you probably could be a doctor, you're a professional, right? chiropractor, lawyer, um, you could be a restaurant owner even. You could be a broker in, in the finance industry. Uh, you could be in social media marketing as an agency wanting to build up your video uh, skills. So you can offer that as opposed to outsourcing to companies like us. You could be a tech startup. You could be a complete newbie online. And, you know, we will argue that even if you're a job seeker, you want to master video because video resumes, uh, one of the hottest things, as another mega trend, people who are really a cutting edge, they don't just send their LinkedIn profile and a resume and a cover letter. Uh, they put together video resumes. How cool is that? You are the star of you, Inc. You better have a trailer. Right? In two minutes, we can, you know, you can generate a billion dollars in sales from if you're Star Wars, Steven Spielberg or whatever. We're not saying you need to do that. But if you want your dream job, you better stand out. Yes or yes? Yes. Right? So, you know, video resume, even that is critical. Forget about getting clients, just getting a job. All right. So case study, we'll go through this case study. Uh, you can actually see this video that we did that generated over half a million dollars just for one single client, a quarter of a million for another client, et cetera, et cetera. It's, it's close to seven figures. This, this is one video funnel. Uh, a couple hundred thousand views. It's not super viral, um, but in the scheme of business ads, it's decent, yeah? Uh, you can watch it on tinyurl.com forward slash second ad. So if you type in, up the very top of your browser, tinyurl.com. Um, it's just a, it's just a, what do you call it? It's otherwise, if I gave you the full Facebook link, it's very cumbersome and so on. Uh, you just type in tinyurl.com uh, forward slash 90 second ad. And then it should redirect. There's no, you know, this is a very common uh, way to share long links and stuff like that. Um, yeah, it goes to the original ad that I ran. 700 comments uh, that, you know, generated Tony Robbins as a client, got me on stage with Gary Vee, et cetera, et cetera. So check that out at your own leisure. I'm not going to play the whole, I'll play a few seconds of it. You can, it's just the services. Hey, Kian here from Star Producer Academy. Today I want to talk to you about high impact videos and how it can literally transform your business. In the middle of Times Square, I shot this business. video uh, with. My wife shooting with my cell phone, this exact same cell phone that, you know, I still have, a Samsung, good old Samsung. And uh, my business partner shot, you know, using just a DLSR, a regular, you know, digital camera. Hi, Bharath from India. Welcome. Uh, so we're looking at a case study of one of my video funnels that generated, you know, close to a million dollars in revenue. This one video funnel, one ad that I created, one video it's about two minutes, one minute, nine forty, like 90 seconds. Uh, 700 comments, as you can see, roughly. And, uh, you know, I, I won't play the whole thing, but, you know, it's me in Times Square just sharing a bit about my story and, um, and your life, especially if, you know, I'm targeting mission-driven entrepreneurs. If you're a mission-driven entrepreneur wanting to share your message with the world or if you're a coach or consultant or online marketer. My business partner. Who was shooting a, D a digital DLSR. Promoting high ticket products. The angle of that wide shot is my wife with my cell phone. That you could just shoot amazing videos just with the cell phone. It's just incredible. 
Intelligence Services. It's the secret sauce of how I've been able to reach the masses. And yeah. yeah, let me give you, you just need to put a www and then tiny. Anytime we share a, uh, a link in the group chat, guys, just put the www. I think that will then bring up a clickable link. Yes, I should. Oh, sorry, no, it's my mistake. It's actually and you know, when I put Keon, it it corrected it to D Dean. Why? That your name should be here. Oh, here it is. There we are. So yeah. we just need the HTTP. You need remember the HTTP. Otherwise, in Zoom, this is a little tip. It doesn't include the clickable URL. So you can watch this at your own pace. You know, I, I shared my story. You know, from you know living in a cockroach-infested apartment. Blah blah blah. You can watch it in Asia and how I ended up becoming an Oscar contender, or, you know, getting on stage, blah, 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 being a celebrity online, right? Webinars, but importantly, video marketing is becoming more and more essential. Now, I'm here in Times Square, New York City, because it's actually a, a very special place for me. It's where I've hosted many live events in front of an anchor producer, director for, you know, many years before I moved to teaching what I've learned. You know, combining the business skills that I've developed over 20 years, uh, as well as being involved with the media world. It's not something I, you know, imagined as a kid uh, growing up in Australia, uh, but, you know, that's, that's how fate leads you sometimes, right? Anyway, I won't play the whole thing because it's probably a little bit jerky on, through Zoom, so you can watch it on, at your own leisure. The point is, if you stick around to the end, uh, we'll give you the full transcript, the full case study, in fact, dozens of case studies, full transcripts of the video. Who wants that? Type in yes. Um, a 37-page internal playbook where we give you our internal training that also we give to VIP clients to pay tens of thousands uh, and basically the links to the video so you can see the production quality, you see the transcript, and you see how they follow our G-R-E-A-T formula to creating Scripts. Yes or yes. Who wants that? So if you just stick around. This is our ethical, you know, bribe to get you to stay until the end of the presentation in the 90 minute mark. All right. Fair enough. Uh, put your credit cards away because there's nothing to buy at the end of this presentation. Shock horror. You know, why are we, you know, aren't you going to pitch us something? Uh, you just keep your credit cards in, in your pocket. We will recording this. Uh, this is going to be, you know, this is the first time, second time we've done this type of a presentation. We, we need practice. We want to give as much value. Make sense? Yes, there will be some sort of a call to action where you can reach out and chat with us if you want. But, you know, anyway, there's, there's no need to, to buy anything. Fair enough? All right. Okay, let's continue. So uh, we have a methodology that we've developed uh, and it's what we call the Star Prism Method. It's the name of our company, Star Producer Academy. You need to be consistent with your branding, guys. Star Producer Academy. We help mission-driven experts, speakers, and coaches build, go viral and build six or seven-figure personal brands. Make sense? So that is our you know, methodology, and et cetera, et cetera. And you want to keep your messaging simple. Within five or 10 seconds, people get that, what you do. And if you have difficulty enunciating that, then you got to reassess to refine your marketing message. And within our name, our website, Star Producer, we've got a methodology and you need a methodology to position yourself as an expert. You need a five-step, seven-step, you know, simplify the years of experience that you have into a framework that is easy to remember. Mm -hmm. So in our case, if you want to be a star in your niche or niche in your industry or your profession, yeah, if you want to be a star, you need to be also a top producer, a producer of content, video, and sales. Top producer. I'm a top producer in, real, in my sales uh, real estate company. He's a top, top sales guy, right? So you need to master your personal branding through your story, the S, strategically. We'll talk about strategic story, selling. You need to master online technology, guys. I'm sorry. You don't have to learn everything yourself. You don't. You outsource. There's ways to do it. If you don't have, if you've got the money, you outsource. And if you don't have the money, you learn it. And we're going to show you how if you follow step-by-step -step methods, uh, you can get the whole templates and systems of people, all right, uh, who've been there, done that. 
being awesome, you know, is critical because if you don't, if you aren't awesome, you're going to feel like, or if you don't feel like you're awesome, you are going to freeze up on camera. Yes or yes, right? We're going to help you unleash your awesomeness. Who wants that? You know, we've tapped into less than one, two percent of our brain capacity, our confidence levels. And there is, there's actually different techniques to help you know, develop mega memory, mega creativity. And uh, I was as shy as any docky Asian kid growing up in Australia, where I grew up, uh, as you can imagine. I would have never imagined I'll be on stage, on camera, on cable TV, you know, whatever. I'll relate, rich, healthy relationships, critical part of developing partnerships, building your team, and then producer. How do you produce videos? How do you, we're going to go through different elements of this, obviously, today. All right. So case study number one, we mentioned that in our, in our landing page, you know, how Ben, a former intern, he was editing my videos, my goodness, went viral in under 42 days, literally, and built a seven-figure personal brand and business. I mean, a million dollars in just, not 42 days, but he, in the 42 days went viral. A few years later, he built up a million dollar income uh, in three and a half years or something, right? So we're going to case study that. So you can see we actually did the nerdy thing and calculated exactly the graph. I'm a mathematics background nerd. All right. So how did this begin, right? I was part of a ragtag team of video creators for a nonprofit TV station in New York. I came to volunteer 15 years ago, which is where I met Ben Hedges. Where do you see Ben? Right. Do you see Natalia? Because that's where I met Natalia. She was... Uh, part of the Spanish team, right? We were a multi-language uh, network and we covered news, we covered entertainment, you name it, right? We, we were heavily into also human rights issues uh, all around the world, in particular China, obviously. It's the, the, my connection to this particular station it was founded by people who fled communist China, uh, persecuted in the dictatorial country that it, unfortunately it still is. Um, and, you know, we wanted to, you know, break through the firewall and give people free information, free access to, you know, the free world, so to speak, both ways and collect, get all the amazing information that was um, around the world and help people get access to it and vice versa. People inside China don't have access to CNN and other channels or whatever, right? So we were part of this, this ragtag team of nonprofit folks. Uh, and as we also met Natalia, she wasn't in, in that, that barbecue that we had. <laughs> you might see some famous people in there. You'll, if you're a foodie, you'll know uh, some really famous folks that have spun out of that. Uh, I went to, to Argentina to have a barbecue. Couldn't oh, have there it. You go. Yes, that's right. So I was lost in the matrix completely, you know, 20 odd years ago, you know, working for these big Fortune 100 consulting companies, uh, get good grades, get good at job, yada, yada, yada. And then, you know, I was really called to come to New York because I helped a woman obtain asylum from China in Australia. And they were, she was interviewed by this TV network. I thought, wow, I was doing amazing things. Let's come to New York. Let's help out and volunteer for a few months. And a few months became two years, five years. You know, I initially, the first place I rented, whatever I could get, was this brand new apartment. Can you believe that's brand new? This is Manhattan for you. 250 square foot apartment. You know, I just thought I'll just rent this place for a few weeks because, uh, you know, when you arrive, you have no idea where you're going to go, right? And it was cockroach infested. It was hilarious. You know, we were, you know, creating videos from green screens and, you know, uh, where there obviously was a TV headquarters as well. But, um, you know, it was crazy times. And our mission was really to uncover the secret of going viral because we knew 12, 15 years ago that YouTube was exploding and social media was exploding and we needed to capitalize on that. So we did everything we could to figure this out. You know, I was learning makeup tutorials. I mean, I was learning um, how to be, go viral like this Michelle fan makeup <laughs> tutorial expert. I'm kidding. No, I actually had to figure out how to put on makeup because I was on TV. Come on, give me a break. All right. And I was trying to be funny like Ryan Higa, 22 million fans. Because <laughs> um, we know if you're online, it's not just about education. It's about entertainment. Right, guys? Otherwise, people are going to switch off, right? That's why, you know, I'm trying to be funny. Look, the point is you've got to merge the best practices 
of the gurus and they're entertaining, they're great at storytelling like Natalia, et cetera, et cetera. You got to teach frameworks. But if we just taught and did nothing else but teach you frameworks, you would have been out of here in a few minutes, right? Surprisingly, um, there's still a bunch of people on, right? And <laughs> I know it's only, this is me when I first started. I needed makeup so bad. It was not funny. I cringe when I look at this video. 497 views. Thank God I didn't embarrass myself more than 497 people. You know, I was a reluctant strategy consultant, startup, uh, you know, entrepreneur to the star of this English division of this, you know, network. And then gradually, you know, things got more and more, like a million views and 10, 2 million views. And I was interviewing the likes of Dr. John. It took a few years to get this point, right? Uh, Michael Gerber, and I was hosting live for two days straight in the middle of Times Square, you know, hosting a cooking competition. <laughs> a lot of cool things, a lot of fun things. And I became this, winning all these awards, Hollywood Music Media Award. I, we were an Oscar contender next to Frozen. Uh, but, you know, there's a movie that we created that, you know, The Courage to Believe that became an Oscar contender in 2014 out of, you know, 300 films. Uh, et cetera, et cetera. All right. Google invited us to speak. Uh, we're on a dozen international film awards. And, and then when you get out there, uh, crazy things happen, right? Um, lots of cool things happen. Um, you might have read, who's seen Crazy Rich Asians? Come on, come on. Who's seen this fantastic movie? All right, Michelle Fan. Oh, Angel's seen it. Well, if you, if you think I look familiar, guys, who remembers that crazy cousin from Hong Kong in the movie? Remember that crazy cousin? All right, I'm kidding. That wasn't me. Look, there is a connection with this movie. Michelle Fan is a dear family friend of ours. She's the James Bond crouching tiger lady. So I'm a big, uh, you know, I cracked this semi joke at the Gary Vee event. It was the only laugh that I got. So I thought I'd throw that in. But the point is, go watch the movie because it's a lot of fun. Uh, crazy Rich Asians. Anyway, now, I'm not kidding. When you go out and put yourself out there on, you know, video like Mike Chen did, he was originally the producer of our English division. And then he came out on his own a few years ago and big things happen. And this guy is blown up. He built this channel to 3.3 million fans. He's got Beyond Science. He's got a couple of million fans. He's got his own, you know, personal channel. He's got a million here, a million there. He's got close to 10 million fans is making multi-million dollars a year all right it's incredible doing what he loves to do which is eat you know he was the guy if you look at that picture mike was the one with the apron do you remember he was the guy with the apron cooking for us and there's a reason why we look into people's eulerian destiny what does that mean what do you love to do truly all right on the weekends when you've got some hang time mike was the guy who cooked and ate for all of us. And no surprise, you know, he figured out his, you know, his uh, niche, Strictly Dumpling, you know, and Mich uh, we've got Rowena, you know, makeup, you know, we, we were modeling Michelle fan. These guys got the 2 million fans, uh, friends of ours from the TV network, Beauty Within, uh, uh, Rowena and uh felicia and then you know this whole tv network itself we built it up to 80 million fans i'm still an advisor i still uh you know fund the the network uh, anyway so over a billion views a month this doesn't happen overnight guys this you know 10 15 years of a lot of work put it that way so we figured out a lot of different aspects of virality Back in 2018, I picked this date because it was the best month that we had, uh, 2 billion views. We were number one. We were ahead of Lad Bible, Unilad, Tasty, Viral Trends. Gosh, you know those. You may have seen some of our videos. Uh, you might, might kind of like NTD, Epic Times, boom, that's us. You know, we were the early pioneers uh, of that back in New York, 2005. So, you know, as a result, we were invited, I was invited to speak at places like Google, Joe Polish's Genius Network, where people paid 25000 a head, things like that. It was, it was really cool. But back in the days, Ben was an intern. He was an intern. He called me Uncle Wong because I was 10, 15 years older than him. I still am, darn it. 
and uh, he's still young and still famous. Now he's become f- super famous. He he was he became famous at our TV network because he was he, he started a, a channel in Chinese because he he learned Mandarin. Ben, are you? Let's see if Ben can uh, can someone message. Let me just message Ben because I'm going to invite him to get on any minute. I think he hopefully he's back. Oh. Hopefully, yeah. So, um, yeah, Steph, if you can give Ben a quick call, I'll make sure he's because uh, he's has to drop off his daughter. He's got two gorgeous uh, kids, uh, two and four and a half, and he's doing his dad duties at the moment. Um, come on, you got to do what you got to do. Don't care how famous you are. Um, let me just give him a call. Let's, wait, let's give him a quick call. Ben, where the heck are you? What's this? <laughs> <laughs> family first who, who, who believes in that that's the beauty i've got two young boys one and two and a half and i get to see them grow up it's amazing it's always been a dream of mine it took me many decades to get there but you got to do what you got to do now um ben uh well he'll he'll join us i'm sure he's probably just still coming back but we'll continue uh so ben was a famous um, TV host of a Chinese program. And then he was, this is, a, this is for a nonprofit. So, you, you know, he was famous, but you don't get paid much part of a nonprofit. And he got married. I was the MC at his wedding and uh, he was the MC at my wedding. And uh, just let me know when he's back. Uh, oh, actually, he's there, but he hasn't unmuted yet or his video isn't. But he uh, was this famous uh, host of a ch- Chinese language uh, TV show and YouTube. And then well, after getting married, as you know, anyone who's gotten married, you, you've got a lot of expenses coming your way, especially if you plan to have a family and on a nonprofit salary, it's not going to happen. So he came out part-time while still helping the TV network, which is amazing. And he started this YouTube channel, right? And in English, he didn't get any support because all his fans were in Mandarin in Taiwan. Uh, he started an English divi- English YouTube channel called Generation Tech, which is, you know, his, his other geeky passion is technology. So he thought, hey, yeah, that could be a good channel. And, you know, he was testing things out, as you do, right? And he was gradually moving into that. He was an Uber driver part-time, part-time helping the TV network, part-time spending four or five hours uh, a day doing YouTube. Right. This is how you do. It. This is the real rags, the riches. Um, and, you know, within a few years, he got to, you know, tens of millions of views and he hit 100,000 subscribers, not just once by himself, but two, three, four times. So once you have the formula, guys, and if you have the persistence, because this is the key. All right. This is the absolute secret. You do need a little bit of talent. My goodness, it's not all, you know, if you've got zero talent in an area, I don't care how hard you work, uh, zero multiplied by zero is zero, right? You need at least 0.1 talent, right, before you can eventually get there. But I would say look at what you're really talented at and focus on that, right? If you're here, you probably want feel like you've, you've got some chutzpah, charisma, to be on camera and you just haven't fulfilled your potential. Yes or yes, right? If you feel like you should be on radio and behind the pen and paper and shouldn't be on camera, you can be the director, guys, right? Think about this. You will still learn how to be a producer. Was I on camera for the film that I made that became an Oscar antenna? Was I on camera when we won the Hollywood Music and Media Award for the music video that we created, heck no. No one wants to hear me sing, right? We actually got Karyanka Kilcher, a Hollywood actress who, who became famous when she starred opposite Christian Bale. Who's heard of Christian Bale? Batman, right? So she was Pocahontas in the new world. We reached out to her. You know, she really loved our vision. And she agreed to sing, you know, for our film, beautiful film. Thank you. So there is a formula to going viral. And, uh, you know, with Ben, 
he started off because he obviously, you know, learned this. We taught him, you know, pretty much he was part of the whole internship program. And uh, this is back in 2008, 9, 10. And, uh, you know, he then came out uh, and became an uncovered talent and became famous. I think 2012, 13, I think, was when we started his Chinese YouTube channel. And then a few years later, came out on his own. Right. So he started Generation Tech. And then credit shift for generation films. He's got like five or six different channels. I think four of them already hit, you know, a hundred thousand plus half, a couple of half a million. So generation tech uh, had has about 184 million views just on one channel. So collectively he's done, you know, about a billion. And uh, we, we say that not to impress you well, partly to impress you, but to explain there is a methodology like in his case, he, within seven videos, it was just seven. His seventh video was what went viral, All right? Uh, Steph, have you been able to get a hold of Ben? Or maybe I should call him on his phone phone. Just want to make sure because we're getting up to. Um, uh, no, uh, I messaged him. Yeah, let's, give him a, let's give him a quick call on. If you can call him on Facebook, that would be terrific. Nothing like live events, isn't it? Hopefully he's okay. Let me just quickly, excuse me, I should call. This is live, as you can tell, right? You just got to call him on his cell phone and make sure he's okay. <laughs> Nothing like real-time presentations. Mushy mushy. Is this like, he's like, hey, you're almost home? Okay, terrific. All right, bye-bye. Yeah, he's, he's leaving the, the daycare. <laughs> so he's like, he's on his way. So whew, make sure he's okay. All right. So who's Ray's father? Who's seen Star Wars episode, what was it, seven? So when they released this film, this video, they were the first. It was the second day after the Star Wars film episode seven was released, in, you know, worldwide. So they're the first to release a video to talk about who's Ray's father. Who actually saw that episode, right? It was a, you know, big, big release after so many years. We're waiting for the final trilogy. And uh, because they leveraged and piggybacked off a mega trend. Who remembers the mega trend importance? Uh, where, you know, so many tens of millions of dollars of buzz was surrounding this film. You know, it went to 100,000 views in 28 days. After it was released on December 20th. Right, he only had sixty-two fans back then, guys. It's very hard to get to a hundred thousand views when you only have sixty fans on your YouTube channel. That's super viral, right? You think about that. So that went bananas, and uh, roughly forty-two days after he started his channel, he only started it very part-time, November tenth. He only did a video every, you know. A week or so <clears throat> right so that is you know now i'll dig into some of the numbers right? we calc we were looking at all the different channels and we looked at four out of the six of them it was enough and what we discovered right, this is a little bit blurry so i'm going to bring up uh another let me give you hey by the way don't you like canva isn't canva cool the animation graphics yeah we, this is a new piece of software that we're testing out. Your presentation is mind blowing. It's oh, just thank you. So beautiful. Our team, Feb, Kyle, big shout out to you guys. We we were using PowerPoint up to this point, like ninety nine percent of us. Um, can't stress enough, you know how cool Canva is. There is no way in the world we could come up with such cool animation to keep you guys a bit more engaged. Yeah. So anyway, I'll, I'll revert back to PowerPoint because it, it um, we we uh, need to we didn't uh, upload the high def um, image, so I'll just revert back to here. So with the uh, the look at those numbers, we were tracking every month what his subscriber base was and the revenue. So he didn't make any money for like seven eight months, and then wow, he made fifteen dollars that month, as you can see on the left here. Then forty seven seventy one two thirty six. You can't quit your job on that, can you? Now, YouTube is not a get-rich-quick game, all right? This is for those who want to build, you know, uh, a more of a longer-term brand, you could say. 
Many ways to monetize. I'll get into that, and Ben will get into that. $236, 247 441 He was still working as an Uber driver, and then he, he actually ended up doing two part-time jobs, Trader Joe's and Uber driving, and when he hit, even when he hit two $3,000 in that month, and that was March 2017, for so a year and a half into it. He was doing five hours a day, and then he only quit his job two years in when it was up to when he broke the f- five figure per month mark consistently 14 13 22 70 he felt confident enough to tell his wife uh, uh yeah he had a two year old at the time i mean how how you know how much courage do you need you know to quit a job you know even though it's two part time jobs and um working at a tv network that you know you're really passionate about um to quit that, all the stability there to go full time, right? As an entrepreneur, it's not for the faint hearted. So it took him two years before he was consistently making about 10,000 a month. And then he quit Trader Joe's even and went full time, right? You can see the subscriber base hit about 100,000. And he started a second channel credit shufu, credit cards, everything related to credit cards. Shufu means master in, in, um, Chinese. So obviously with his Chinese background, he thought he'd leverage that. So you can see the subscriber base, you know, it goes exponential gradually, right? It doesn't happen. Nothing happens sometimes. No, we didn't even bother calculating the subscriber base in the first six months because there were nothing. Like, you know, he went viral here, December, 2015, but he didn't pick up that many subscribers. There's only about a thousand, even though 100,000 people saw that video, only a thousand people added him uh, as a sub, as a fan. Took him a bit while longer to triple, and then it gradually goes exponential. First two years of entrepreneurship is tough, right? So don't quit your jobs necessarily. You know, I don't know how many people tell you these numbers to this degree. Oh, you're making it up, Keon. Why would we want to make it up, right? This is, you know, just numbers that we put together. Anyway, so oh, oh I'm zoomed in. Okay, so after two years, he was making about 15, 20,000 a month. Some months a bit less, some months a bit more. But now, after almost four years, he's consistently make you know, he hit 80,000 one month in December. December was great. It was really good for, for his channels for different reasons. Uh, but he's made over a million dollars in about four years, averaging now. But, you know, it's actually, you know, been quite consistently going up still in COVID, 45, 50,000 a month with zero ad spend. YouTube is something I've completely neglected since my YouTube days back 15 years ago, which is why I brought on Ben uh, and partnered with him to talk about the power of both organic YouTube strategies and paid video strategies, which is what I was using um, to get clients. Right? So if you've got a budget, then you advertise. If you don't, then you've got to go organic strategies. Fair enough. So the viral technology that we you know, documented over the years... Uh, oh, Ben is back. How perfect is that timing? Hey, hey, hey guys. Ben. All right. Welcome back. Everything's okay for the kids. Drop off. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Good, good. So we're, we're right smack on this side of the presentation where, this, where you were going to come in anyway. So we're going to talk about the viral formula that has served us incredibly well over the last, you know, 10 plus years. So what is the first, you know, principle and foundation of going viral? V. The formula here, five steps. Yeah, do you want me to take over on, the, on my screen as well so I can... I, I don't know whether, um, just for the sake, because we didn't get a chance to, to go through this, I'll, I'll just, just tell me to move on because we've only got a, a limited number sure. of slides. All right, All right so, so to, um, the first step, really, uh, the V of viral, is to be very, very, very persistent. Okay? We talked about this, right, guys? So who gets that? Type in yes if you understand the power of persistence in anything, the compound effect, right? Yeah. And because online, you, never, you can never truly know whether something is going to go viral or not. You can, you can have a good guess, all right? You can, you can make a video and be like, yeah, this, is, this has got the traits of something that could go viral, but you don't 100% know whether people are going to share it and go crazy for it, right? So you have to upload quite a lot of content uh, and I think on our channels, do we, yeah, we should have the slide where we show you how many videos went viral on our channel. So this is a channel with 500,000 subscribers on YouTube, a Star Wars channel, uh, and 776 videos. So over 30% went to over 100,000 views. It doesn't really count as viral for us. 
13% went to over 500,000 views. That's pretty viral, mm -hmm. but only 2.3% reached over 1 million views, which I would say is truly a viral video for that channel. So you can see out of 100 videos, only 2.3 uh, actually became viral. So you got to upload a lot of content. Um, and so you got to love doing it. You know, you got to love what you do because otherwise, how are you going to upload that much content uh, if you hate it, right? But uh, yeah, anyway, so the second, uh, the I of uh, viral is I am a storyteller. And this, we're talking about getting sort of personal, um, personal branding, bringing in a personal element, okay? Because, you know, if you don't have a personal element, people are not gonna stick with you long-term. They're not gonna subscribe to your channel, all right? There are some YouTube channels that just, uh, they put um, a voice into a computer and then they have it sort of read out, uh, you know, the script and uh, they don't have that personal element because you don't see someone on screen or hear someone's voice. So anyway, um, to create a personal brand, we've got examples of uh, here three YouTubers who I follow who have really great personal brands. Graham Stefan in the personal finance niche, uh, Michelle Fan, who's a makeup uh, YouTuber from a few years back, uh, Meet Kevin, who's also in the real estate niche. And the thing that these guys have in common is they've created a really strong personal brand, all right? So if you think of Graham Stefan, uh, you'll think of his signature 20 cent iced coffee, all right? Because he's all about saving money. So he has this 20 cent coffee that he drinks and criticizes anyone who goes to Starbucks. Uh, meet Kevin, you'll think of uh, the fact that he's always getting sued, or at least he claims he's always <laughs> getting sued. His catchphrase is, don't sue me, bro. And he, he, uh, he's been sued by everyone, including Grant Cardone, allegedly, according to his videos. I don't know if it's true or not. But uh, yeah, he sells T-shirts with Don't Sue Me, Bro. So anyway, he's, he's <laughs> created a huge personal brand that's really distinctive. You know what I mean? So you've got to bring your personality into it. You can't just be a robot. All right? And Keon, you might want to talk about Michelle Fan because I know. Yeah, Michelle, you know, when she built up her fan base, and she was one of the early makeup artists that went super viral. Definitely was the number one Michelle uh, makeup, you know, At that YouTuber. Time. Definitely. And uh, built it to seven, eight million fans, which is a lot 10, 15 years ago, go that way. That's the equivalent of, you know, 20, 50 million. You know, some of the, the biggest guys now, like Pe PewDiePie, it's like he's 100 million. Like everyone, but he's way, way out there ahead of everyone else. Yeah, he's way ahead of everyone. It's crazy. He's a, he's a unicorn. But Michelle leveraged that personal brand because into a, you know, pretty much a $100 million business really quickly because she managed to get 800,000, 700,000 subscribers to pay her 10 bucks a month for an Ipsy, you know, subscription-based makeup kit, you know, samples. Pretty, pretty amazing. She really understood how to take your fan base and monetize. So anyway... So that, that's what Michelle did. And uh, others are doing that. Michelle, Meet Kev, Graham, they have courses. In, yeah. Equivalent for them is selling online courses. All right. So anyway, let's moving on. Okay. So um, the R out of viral is to be relevant. All right. Uh, let's go to the next slide. So I'm sure you guys are probably familiar with these YouTubers um, from the US. So Jake Paul. Jenna Marbles was a bit more famous a few years back. Uh, Mr. Beast, currently, he's like the fastest growing YouTube channel out there at the moment. I think he's got like 40 million subscribers. Um, but what do these people have in common? It's like they're already famous, okay? So if they put out a video, if Jake Paul puts out a video, uh, what I ate for breakfast, people will still watch it, even though it's a lame title. They're like, wow, what did Jake Paul eat for breakfast? Because he's already a celebrity. His name's already a keyword, right? But for you, just starting out, um, unless you are a celebrity, you know, maybe there's some celebrities watching this, but um, the, when you're just starting out, your name is not something that people are searching for. So how do you become relevant? How do you link your videos with things that people actually are looking for? All right, uh, let's go to the next slide. Okay, so the answer is to make videos on topics that people are actually searching for. So when we started out, uh, our main channel, Generation Tech, we did this video who is Ray's father, right, from Star Wars, okay? So this video, we released it about a day or two days after the first of the new Star Wars movies came out. And uh, it was a question that a lot of people were asking. Uh, no one had done a video on it on YouTube at that time. And this video just blew up. It, you know, exploded for us, went viral. It got, I think, 100,000 views in a month, all right? So, and that was because that was something people actually were searching for 
after they'd seen that movie, okay? Uh, next one down, uh, the Chase Sapphire Reserve. So this is the credit card in, in the US market. And back in 2016, this was a very popular credit card. And a lot of people wanted to know, how can I get approved? You know, what credit score do I need? How much money do I need in the bank to get approved for this credit card? Um, so I did a video on that shortly after, I just go back here. Yeah, shortly after the video, um, after the credit card was released. Released. A lot of people uh, watched this video and you can see 155,000 views. This went viral at the time. We call this uh, tentpole programming where you make videos about some event that is going to happen all right that's coming up in the calendar so you can think of a, a tent an old style tent that's kind of like a triangle with a pole in the middle and as you come up as interest builds in that that uh topic um interest will build and then the thing actually happens like the movie is released or whatever and then you've got it coming down the other side as interest you know dies down so you've got this sort of triangular classic tent shape and so if you make videos uh, around these times, let's say, uh, you know, on things that are happening, right? You're going to, it's, it's much more likely for you to be able to get views with using those keywords associated with that movie that's going to be released. This uh, presidential election is going to happen next week. Uh, you know, thanks, uh, Black Friday, you know, sales, the things like that, deals that you can get, you make videos about that, all sorts of different topics that are, you know, um, pinned to certain uh, releases you know the new iphone that was just released you make videos yeah interest always gets built around keywords associated with certain things that are happening and when you get huge then you can make videos just about yourself once you're a celebrity anyway let's move on to the next slide okay so a it stands for analyzed uh in our viral v-i-r-a-l and uh let's just give an example of thumbnails obviously there's there's more stuff that you can analyze um, but we'll just look at video thumbnails, which are the little pictures you see uh, when you're on YouTube or other uh, video sites. Okay, so I want to give you the example of our first million view video. Uh, we did this video, the real size of Star Wars ships uh, explained. All right. Very geeky. Might not be everyone's cup of tea. But um, this thumbnail, this little picture we found was incredibly clickable because it brings fantasy into re reality. Okay, you can see this huge ship on top of the Manhattan skyline. Uh, those of you who live in New York are probably familiar. That's lower Manhattan, right? Financial district. And um, that is not the star size of a Star Destroyer. I had, look, come on. That is not, you're telling me a Star Destroyer is as big as half of Manhattan. Come on, give me a break. Uh, it's, it's a Super Star Destroyer. It's, uh, it's oh, absolutely. it's a Super Star Destroyer. That, that's One different. from uh, Empire Strikes Back, and it's as big as the whole of Manhattan. Uh, wow. we, had to, we had to squash it a little bit to get it in, but actually it's the same length as Manhattan. Oh, my goodness. Uh, the, the, the normal one is only uh, 1.6 kilometers long. So there you go. There this you go. one's 19 kilometers or 12. Wow. Miles. Anyway, uh, so bringing fantasy into reality. All right. We found this to be very enticing for people and uh, we analyzed it and then we repeated it. So let's go to the next slide. So what do you do um, when you've had something successful? You analyze and then you repeat, repeat, repeat. So we did real size of Star Wars ships, part two, part three, part four. And then we, we ran out of ships. So we did... Star Wars ground vehicles. There you've got some ground vehicle compared to a uh, dump truck or whatever. Um, and then go to the next slide, Kian. Uh, and then when we ran out of Star Wars things, we were, well, let's try another science fiction franchise, right? So we moved over to the real size of Star Trek ships, um, Star Trek non-Starfleet you know, non ships, alien vessels. We did a load of videos on that. I think this whole series, it was about 12 videos, and it brought in about 50 million views, which... Our CPM for a thousand views was about five dollars, so it's about fifty thousand dollars over a few months uh, that this series uh, brought in. Okay, obviously we were doing other videos at that time as well, but we, you know, every few videos we'd have one of these come out, and uh, yeah, this series together is about fifty thousand dollars, I guess. Um, all right, so let's move on to the next slide. Before we before we go there, guys, this is a masterclass. Think about how do you take trending topics something that is perhaps a little bit fantasy related and bring and connect it to reality and make it and somehow link it to your business or topic of expertise. Think about that. You, this is what, this is how you become creative is that looking at different, you know, topics and concepts and merging them, stacking ideas on top of each other. You need to be innovative to stand out. Yes or yes. 
Yeah, there's a lot of ways you can do this. Like if you, um, let, let's say you're in the personal finance or coaching kind of uh, sphere, right? Which I know that a lot of people following you, Kion, are, are you know, doing kind of uh, coaches and you know, business coach, that kind of thing. How do you bring in keywords that people are looking for into that, right? Well, maybe you could analyze, oh, you know, you pick a certain celebrity or YouTuber and then you analyze um, their finances, how they're spending their money or something like that, you know? Um, you yep. find something that people are actually looking for and then you, you find how you can do your own spin on it, you know? That's right. Let's, get, let's move on. Finally. Yeah, so the L of viral, all right? It stands for laugh and cry. Uh, originally it was just laugh, but we, we changed it to laugh and cry because it, you know, it's basically talking about bringing emotion into your videos. Okay. Videos that have an emotional content. Um, and you know, you don't need to be a comedian for this, but, uh, videos that have emotional content can be shared far, far, better, far more than, uh, videos that don't. Okay. So some examples of emotion, are humor, anger, including injustice or joy, um, sadness and inspiration. All right. And when you look at truly viral videos, uh, you'll find, just go back to that previous slide. Um, you'll find that they do have traits of all these. Like, for example, if you've seen those people are awesome compilations that seem to come out every year, well, what emotion do they elicit? I would say that's inspiration, right? You're watching people do incredible things, inspiring things. Uh, and you'll find most viral videos contain one of these emotions. So yeah, let's give an example. Let's go to the next slide. So Mr. Beast, who's currently the fastest growing YouTuber right now, he had this great video called I Opened a Free Bank. And um, so this video got 39 million views, all right? So if you, base, if you base that on what we got for around 10 million views, this video will have made him around $200,000. Um, but the video was so successful because I would say because it combines several emotions, okay? It combines humor, joy, and also sadness. Uh, and also, I guess, inspiration, okay? So you can see the top photo here, you've just got some humorous content of, these guys just giving out money at this free bank, right? And it's real money. They're actually giving people real money. You think he made, you know, the video probably made him at least $200,000. So he, if he gave out $100,000 or even $150,000, he'd still be in profit, right? So, um, and then we've got uh, this second picture where this lady actually who came to the free bank, these are just people off the street who are walking past and they came into this free bank. Uh, her husband had had a heart attack and he couldn't work. And you can see the subtitle like they're saying, oh, we've been trying to make ends meet. And they just got given like $10,000. And uh, even Mr. Beast is shedding a little tear. It's actually really moving. So I'd encourage you to go and watch this video. Um, it's just called I Opened a Free Bank. Your first thing that comes up if you search that. But it's a great example of how to bring in a lot of different emotions to a video and get it to go viral. You know, I can't stress enough you know, how YouTubers are really leading the way for online entertainment. Uh, they, you know, video, Facebook creators, they're relatively new, the video creators, but YouTube has been around for a lot longer. And, um, you know, how does that apply? How do we take boring, which is the business world, coaching, consulting, and how do we eliminate it and bring entertainment and inspiration into it? So I highly recommend, you know, you do look at these top YouTubers you know, who are the most creative talents, you know, of our gener of, of many generations to, to, you know, reach literally billions of people in a very, very short period of time. So thank you, Ben, for sharing these amazing um, tips and strategies. Uh, you know, I, I know you've got a, a crazy day of shoots and stuff. So if he has to pop off, we'll, we'll say goodbye for now. Uh, Thank you, Ben. All right. Ter okay. Terrific. So let's yeah. all thank Ben. He, he's uh, got a crazy schedule today. So let's all thank Ben for sharing those nuggets. Um, awesome stuff. All right. Cheers. Now, the um, but you say, look, you know, I, I, I don't have two, three, four years to build up a YouTube channel. It's too slow. Is there a faster way to getting clients? Who wants a faster way of generating revenue for your business? Type yes. Are we still alive? Thank you, Ben. I am um, Nadu. Ted, yes. Terrific. Yes, yes, yes. All right, excellent. Thank you for still being with us. I've really got some really good value there. It's about creativity. Very few people talk about creativity, right? In the presentations. Yes, or yes. All right, creativity, innovation. Look at different trends, stack different ideas, cross industry. Really, really important. You got to get your juices up. I think um, one gentleman uh, who 
you know, said, said, I can't remember exactly the technique he called it, but every morning, you know, when he wakes up, because when we go to bed, right, we kind of wake up with a lot of great ideas or the middle of the night, you wake up and go, a ching, you know, wow, light bulb moment. Don't go back to bed, have a notepad next to you and jot it down before you forget. Yeah. Uh, really powerful. Have a pen and paper, good old fashioned, you know, technology. Don't have your cell phone in your room, right? You, uh, the, all that electromagnetic stuff and you name it, journal, journal, journal. There's a nothing like a notepad and a pen. I love writing things down. Thank you for that comment. Colored pen. Absolutely. Be colorful. So the power of just one high impact video funnel. Now I stress the word funnel because it's not just one video. When they saw that video, they got attracted to click on the ad. And, you know, the end result was in, in not only dozens of high ticket clients, coaching clients that paid, you know, 6,000 plus, but I got invited to speak on stage at, you know, Success Resources event. Gary V spoke, was the keynote speaker. I was one of other eight or nine speakers. I was, you know, amazing over a two, three day, two day period. And we, the way we got these high end clients didn't happen overnight, right? So we, all these people saying, oh yeah, you know, I generated a half a million, a million dollars. But what actually happened? If you're, who here is a consultant or agency, you know, who actually does work for folks, you know, hands-on, so to speak. Uh, the, the key to getting the really high ticket clients um, is firstly, number one, your messaging has to be on point, right? You've got to attract the right type of client. And when they are attracted to you in different ways, how do you create an irresistible offer to get them to engage, start working with you in a little bit of a capacity? And what we did, and take lots of notes because this is really the key to a lot of success. When they reached out, it took multiple connection points before we actually got on a call with the key decision makers of a nine-figure business. And it required months of follow-up. Follow-up is the seventh and most important step, you could argue almost, for any sales process. Follow-up, follow-up, follow-up. But eventually, after you know different people endorsements and following up on this messenger, right? This Facebook. That's all you need. I was sharing nuggets with a connection. The, the, one of the co-founders of Success Resources reached out to me and he said, Look, I'm no longer active, but you got to speak to Richard and Veronica Tan. They're the active co-founders now. He made an email introduction. I emailed everyone thanking them. Would love to connect, blah, 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 blah. Crickets. Nothing. They're, they get probably hundreds of these types of emails daily. Hey, you should have this person speak on your stage. Hey, you should have this person, you know, connect with them. Took months of follow-up. Eventually, I got to, you know, go back to, to the other co-founder who reached out initially who loved my video that he saw in the Times Square. And eventually, he said, go, I, I sent out, a, I saw a post on his Facebook. He talked about uh, Mencius, Confucius, you know, all these great wise uh, sages uh, in Chinese, you, you know, rich history. So I had created a video on Confucius and so on. So I shared that video with him privately and that sparked another conversation a few months later and that re-engaged, yeah, that discussion point of, hey, you really got to connect with Richard and Veronica. And he did that again. He went out and connected again. And finally I heard from them and they said, hey, I'm coming to New York and let's connect, let's sit down. Maybe it could be a good fit for you to speak at the Gary V event. You're talking about video and personal branding and that's what Gary V is about, but he doesn't teach in depth. Can you, you know, create a course or have you got a course that we could promote at this event? And this was the first time I had done an on-stage presentation in front of 2,000 people and we did like over six figures in sales after a 19 minute presentation. So it was like, whoa, you know, but how did I get them to trust me? I was in the nonprofit world for so many years. Now, obviously I have an entrepreneurial background and I had worked in big companies, consulted for the biggest companies in the world. So I had a track record, number one. Number two though, I still needed to overcome their objections, which is the, the last phase of the 
five or seven steps to every sale before you, you know someone may be willing to buy from you or you ask for the sale, so to speak. And one of the objections was, have you got any experience selling on stage? Well, at the time I didn't, right? At the time, I just told them the truth. I'm a bit of a presenter, but hey, what? I've recorded a webinar. So this is why webinars recorded. And if you're on camera, this is how you really stand out, guys. A big secret. If you can put in a little bit of effort to get someone. Freelance in another five to. This is can me you on camera. I said, hey, Veronica, go check out my 60 minute presentation where I do promote my course as a thousand dollar course or whatever and see how I, you know, if you think I'll be able to do this on stage. Make sense? So I had recorded this, you know, I look a little bit funny there, but I recorded this and they, their team saw it. I gave them access to my entire course. Here's half a dozen licenses for free. I didn't charge them anything. I got a video that said, oh, pay a license fee. No, I, I thought longer term and I thought, here, here you go. Go, go check it out. Um, train your entire staff with it, yada, yada, yada. And that led to them being convinced that for me to speak on stage. Number one. Number two, I thought, how can I add more value? Once you've got the dream 100 type of a client, how do you add value? Well, in my case, I was going to be on stage with Gary Vee. Would it be in my interest to create an awesome trailer with me next to Gary Vee? Yes or yes? I mean, we charge tens of thousands for these type of high impact trailers for big clients. But I, th I said to my team, let's just do it. Don't ask for permission. Let's compile an awesome trailer. And this trailer here was the trailer that got us the first five-figure contract. And then after that, a six-figure contract and multiple six figures, et cetera. So this is a high impact, we'll call it high impact. Uh, we'll, you, know, you have, if you opted into this webinar, you've got the blueprint on how to produce these type of videos. We gave you that as a bonus. If you didn't get it, email support. Someone could type support at Star Produce Academy for us. That would be terrific. Uh, Steph or whoever. Are you sitting in this audience right now and realizing that this is the greatest era to be alive in the human race? myself as in, I'm the personal branding video marketing expert. I get to call myself anything. You know, it's my video I created, right? So obviously I put together this thing. They loved it. It's not so smooth, but you can watch it on our website, obviously, right? So anyway, we've got dozens of samples. You probably have, you know, probably seen it, store some of them when you, before you opted in. The point is you give for free, add value. They loved it so much. Yeah, the music's awesome. There's all these different license free and uh, for 20 bucks, you can get, you know, cool songs like this to incorporate in your video. So the point is we gave for free and then they were so impressed because our video team is just amazing, right? Feb, Carl, uh, a few others who were involved with that project. They said, can you help us fill the room? We were a very last minute decision from Gary. We have 2000 tickets to sell. Can you help us in a couple of months? And we said, absolutely. <laughs> right. So boom, we went in sold out the event pretty much and they were so impressed we got the next gig and the next gig and the next gig tony robbins robert kiyosaki and the last two years have been our clients still up right so it's the gateway but there is a formula we don't want to overcomplicate things but there is a formula to script high impact viral type of videos we can't guarantee all videos will go viral, as you've known, as Ben has explained, but you are putting in the elements that make up for something which is, you know, has the potential to go viral, at least will attract your, you know, get your audience to like, share, or in get them engaged. Fair enough? Grab attention. First few seconds is critical. Relate to people's pain and challenges and share your story. And Natalia, we'll get into that, you know, a bit later with Natalia. How do you get people excited and 
educate them with the three A's, amuse, be awe-inspiring, get them a little bit riled up and angered by injustices of the industry. Call to action. What is your irresistible offer? Your lead magnet. How do you pepper your video throughout your video? Social proof and testimonials gain the trust. If you really structure your videos in two minutes, you can get people to take massive action. All right. So there's a formula and we explained as before, if you stick to the end, we'll give you the gift, right? Now, some of you uh, want to go a bit more detailed, obviously, and we give you dozens of examples, right? So put your credit cards away, just stick with us. So paid or organic traffic. Well, how about both, as we always say, right? So secret number one of building a, a high a, a ticket, seven-figure personal brand, because in our experience, doing the low ticket stuff first is very difficult. Selling $20 ebooks, $100 courses, you need to sell thousands of units before you get you know, any type of significant in income. You're really going to be masterful at marketing to sell you know, lots and lots and lots of things with low ticket. Secret number one, though, uh, about building a personal brand, a high you know, six or seven figure person, is your strategic story and how to sell that the correct way. This is where most people fail miserably. They feel like their story is unworthy. They feel like they don't have a compelling enough, you know, message or background or success story, whatever. And I say baloney, garbage. You don't need that. I'll demonstrate that shortly. Um, this guy here, David, one of our clients, you know, he was just a real estate agent. And, you know, he had an interest in obviously getting on camera and he, you know, had the good looks and everything. Um, and we did cell phone videos for him initially. And coach him on how to do that. So he did some videos. And then, you know, he hired us to do a full-on trailer, which you can still see on his website. Full-on, three-minute, you know, high-end drones, multiple cameras, blah, 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 fancy cameras. And then, you know, lo and behold, now he's one of the stars of HGTV's hot market. He's like, that's the power of you can get your amazing opportunities, the dream job or dream whatever. In this case for him, that opened the doors for him to be on Kate, one of the biggest cable channels. Uh, Ikram American, you know, this guy's uh, a real estate expert um, in, in Airbnb, right? And he had no experience in putting together videos. And then within just a few weeks of applying our methodologies and our training, he was able to create a 20x return on his ad budget, right? He had put on his hat, you know, it was really, you know, he had a really interesting spin on his personal brand, something unusual, and, you know, he, he rocked it. Um, plenty of other examples um, of this, dozens on our website, won't go into it. 120 to $100 million, you know, business model. How do you craft a business model that you're not trading time for money? Who here trades time for money. Be honest, right? If basically you do something, people get paid, you know, pay you for it. Do something, get paid for it. A lot of people do, right? That's what we were taught. Get a job, get paid hourly. How do you create a leveraged model? Now, the extension path traditionally has been this. Free stuff, lead magnet, collect their email, low ticket sales, go to medium ticket, higher ticket, eventually higher, higher ticket, et cetera, et cetera. It takes a long time. I can guarantee you strategy consultants back 20 odd years ago when I was a strategy consultant analyst working for uh, these top end strategy consulting firms where our clients are Fortune 100, we weren't selling $20 courses, believe me. You know, what we did do was we would go in and do a lot of consultation for free, get the engagement going, offer a lot of pilot programs, and sometimes to get new, to get that trust factor from these big companies and boom, multiple seven figure contracts. So we would be charged out at 2000 to 10, 15,000 a day. And you have a whole team of people on for a year or two projects. So you do the math, it's many multiple millions. All right. Now, unless you've got fortune 100 clients, it is not easy to charge those sort of rates. Fair enough. Most of us who are servicing the SME market are charging anywhere from 50 bucks. And if you're a lawyer, you can get away with charging with a couple of hundred bucks an hour, you know, two, three, four hundred bucks an hour. And even then, the higher end lawyers who charge one or two thousand bucks an hour, those clients of theirs are fortune, you know, 500. This is how everyone explains the whole monetization model. 
they do it because that's what they've done, the gurus, but they're the gurus. Did they start off doing that originally? Some did, but they're, they're geniuses. It's a lot harder, guaranteed, for the average guy or girl to do that. If you've got some expertise, now, if you've got no expertise and you want an opportunity to go online and you become an affiliate marketer, yes, let you focus on marketing, right? Let them, or well, the networking or the, the sale, you know, the driving traffic, the, you know, affiliate programs have everything sorted out. The backend, the marketing is done, et cetera. You just need to drive traffic to it. That's not a bad option to get started with online. But you still need to build your personal brand because once that opportunity is gone or no longer hot, you know, people follow you. You need to have, think about consistent branding. Don't, you know, promote this thing and that thing is not completely related. You need to think strategically, guys. Uh, much faster monetization path for experts online. If you are an expert or offering a service, uh, create what we call a star infomercial funnel. An infomercial is so powerful that within a few minutes, you whip out your credit card and you pay, don't you, right? And it's, uh, it's video and it's person on camera, whether it's you or a spokesperson, okay? You or spokesperson, it doesn't have to be you. Create a high ticket offer if you can. We're not getting you to do low ticket infomercials unless you've got massive budgets and most of us do not, right? So, Focus on providing a transformational experience like we did for Success Resources. We had a hybrid group coaching model as well. We were charging $6,000 for a six-month group coaching model twice a week, offering that type of level of coaching. And, um, you know, we were very picky. had to be multiple six figures to get in, et cetera, et cetera. Mastermind groups, that's the next level higher up you could go to, et cetera, et cetera. And then once you've got some decent cash flow, how many, you know, Sales do you need to make if you're only make, selling, you know, $10 products versus $2,000 programs? Then you can scale to the masters once you've got the cash flow from the first part of your business. We are not talking about internet tech startups that, you know, yeah, sell to the masses, have a free product like Dropbox and eventually have millions of users. Forget about that. It's not for the average person. The simple high ticket webinar funnel, most of the gurus are running right now for high ticket or adds to the webinar registration to a webinar that could be anywhere from 15, 20 minutes if you're offering a service up to, you know, 60 minutes to 90 minutes if you're doing a long webinar selling a one or $2,000 program. And then you drive them to a phone appointment and you get yourself or a sales team member to enroll them into a two to $10,000 program, all right? Or if you're selling a $500, $1,000, $2,000 info product, you send them to the sales page. That's the traditional way that most of these high ticket gurus. The reality is <clears throat> there's many different ways you can do it. We initially tested that model, but initially before you have your marketing message refined, we wanted a lot of appointments. When you start putting massive barriers, watch my 60 minute webinar first, right? A lot of you are going to drop off. Yes or yes. So we did it slightly different. We drove people to a testimonial reel. And then people could book a call much quicker. I'll show you what we did. So here's something that very few people teach. And this is a defunct funnel, so it doesn't work, but the first page works. This is when we were launching our original funnel many years ago. And we got huge clients, you know, seven figure uh, a year clients to nine figure clients, right? So are you multiple six figure coach or consultant? We're very clear when we first started, we wanted to help and get some really high-end testimonials first. Little did we realize that we updated it to include Tony Robbins here, but little did we realize that eventually we'll get those type of clientele. You set the intention, guys. Set the strategy first. Who is, would be your, I did Tony Robbins UPW 23 years ago. You know, I dreamed of one day, you know, working with these people. I put it on my vision board. 20 years later, it happened, Right. So believe in the power of attraction, law of attraction, all that stuff. You got to, but you got to implement. It does take a lot longer sometimes. It may not happen, but certain things will, you know, manifest in beautiful ways. So, so what's the secret to attracting high-ticket dream clients? Hi everybody, I'm Forbes Riley. Now I know you've seen me late night television endorsing amazing people like Jacqueline and Montel Williams and some phenomenal products. But every once in a while, I bump into somebody extraordinary. Who recognizes this TV celebrity? In the US, you may have seen her. You may not have seen her if you're outside of the US. 
But Forbes Riley ran this channel for a number of years and generated $2 billion in sales. Quite incredible. She promoted, as I said, Jack Lane's, you know, the juicing guy, right? the guy who really made juicing popular in the US in the 90s. And Forbes, you know, really led that. And I met her at this event. We really hit it off. We started exchanging ideas and uh, she gave me this incredible endorsement. The power of endorsement from established people, put it that way, is phenomenal. This one little video got so many appointments for us. And that just happened in Las Vegas. His name is Kian, and you know him from Star Producer Academy. I'll tell you what, when you get a chance to work with Kian and talk to him, his mind is very fast. He sees things in people, how to take your brand to the next level. If you get a chance, he does a one day or a strategy session where it's just kind of a one on one. He has opened my mind to possibilities and working together with him. Oh my gosh. So, you know, the funny thing is when you look at him, and I don't think he's listening to this, he sounds so amazing. I love that Australian accent. But it's more than that. It is the depth of his knowledge. He's been around the block. And he's got a passion for mission-driven entrepreneurs. And we share that. So we can all do things for the money. But when you do something that matters, and maybe you're stuck, you're like, I don't know how to get to the next level. He is the man that you need to look at. And I wouldn't wait. And he's got very limited time. You want to get a strategy call with him as soon as possible. I think it's free. The information is below. Please take advantage of this opportunity because he, like I, have one mission, one passion for you guys is to take your life, your business, and your dream to the very next level. Imagine having someone like her endorse you. Would that transform your business? Yes or yes? I mean... You cannot underestimate the power of just a single amazing testimonial. We'll teach you how to do this in a lot more depth. When 90 minutes is up, I've got another five or 10 minutes if that's okay. I've gone a little bit over, another five or 10 minutes and we'll open up to Q&A, fair enough? So we taught this particular method uh, to quickly get discovery calls. And then, you know, book. let them book first a call with you and then you can send them to a webinar so they can be pre-framed and educated a little bit before they get on a call with you. Make sense? Yes or yes? Slightly different model. I don't think many of you guys have seen this particular high ticket webinar formula. Who's seen this type of formula before? All right, anyone? It's unusual, right? We didn't invent this. We saw a few people do it and we thought, wow, this could be really powerful. Um, but in reality, though, the star infomercial funnel is a little bit more complicated, obviously. If it was that easy, everyone would be doing it. You know, there's the whole different processes for creating uh, webinars, testimonial videos. That was not scripted, mind you, clearly. But she followed all the methodologies that we teach because she's an infomercial queen. She's the pitch queen. So she was able to do it in a way that was so authentic, uh, unedited, just boom. We just put some music over it, right? So... Questionnaire, scheduling, we use Calendly. Uh, we use JotForm because it varies depending on what you answer. Really cool piece of software uh, to, for serving people. Uh, and then you need a starstruck page where you put all your testimonials there. Right? It could be cell phone, simple testimonials, written testimonials, screenshots of client results, et cetera, et cetera. And then you want to put together a sales system. I'm going to summarize this really quickly. Who wants to learn how to enroll high ticket clients, five, ten thousand dollars on the phone? All right. We don't teach the methodology where you got to close them on the first sale. Uh, you know, some people teach different methodologies around that. And to me, it feels icky. You know, it's just not the way we operate. So we offer the star strategy sessions, you know, where you there's nine step methodology here. You lead like the star. You set the agenda. You explain what we're going to be covering. You ask them, well, why us? Why now? What are the biggest challenges? You need to get people from where they are to where they want to be and then really understand their pain points because their pain points is what is going to drive them to take action. Yes or yes. Tony Robbins would say, you know, we either move away from pain and move towards pleasure. But pain is a bigger factor than anything. You don't want to be selling, um, what's the word? prevention. You want to be a selling painkillers, unfortunately, right? People are happy. If you've got the solution, the magic pill or whatever, they'll pay anything, right? But if you're going to tell them you got to do vitamins and exercises, blah, 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 it's a lot harder to sell that, right? And 
we're not offering the magic pill. We're not offering the magic pill, just so you you know clear. So here you can see the stretching the gap is where are you now? Where do you want to be? And what's really you know not helping you get there? What's what are the challenges you face? Then you need to offer some value on the call. You're spending most of the time listening, offering some nuggets, and then you want to make sure they get what you are saying. You're getting feedback, and then. Only until they go at the end of it, you've offered some value. If they want extra help, you give them the elixir. You give them little drops of what you do. And then if they want to join, you let them think about it, right? I never get people to say, sign up right now because you're going to get buyer's remorse. You're going to get people, you offer no matter what irresistible offer you're going to offer. If they don't get time to think about it, sleep on it, speak to the partner about it, forget it. All right, you're going to get a lot of chargebacks. You're going to get a lot of issues, et cetera, et cetera. People hate to be sold. They love to buy. Yes or yes. Write that down. They hate to be sold to. They love to buy. Right? So one key aspect that people don't talk about, the gurus in particular, because they know how difficult this is to teach, because they don't have necessarily a video background like us. That's our point of difference, is what we call the KLT video matrix. Right? The KLT video matrix is how do you get people to know, like, and trust you so well that before they enter your funnel, they're already like half sold. He wants to learn how to do that, right? So you can re-engineer a lot of these funnels. Um, you can just go to Facebook, type in ads library in Google, type in your favorite gurus. Dan Henry is amazing. I'll give me this is one example. And you can re-engineer all their ads, re-engineer all their funnels. And you'll see that that's exactly what they're doing. They're doing all these different types of videos. This is the KLT video matrix from cell phone videos, short little selfie lifestyle videos to gratitude videos to, you know, if you think like, I don't know what to write, I don't know what to say on video, I don't know, I don't know what my content strategy is. Here is the blueprint, guys. Screenshot this. I'm not gonna give the PDF of this presentation, but definitely screenshot this. From gratitudes and wins, your trailers, on stage stuff, interviews, stories, right? From personal stories, philosophical stories, being vulnerable, ultimately, different angles related to your why. Because people don't care what you do, they care why you do what you do. You notice when Forbes Riley says, you know, he talked about, he doesn't do it for the, just for the money, all right? Obviously, we, you know, we do it partly to build extra wealth. We do it for legacy. We do it for different reasons. But if other people say that about you, it's far more powerful than if, oh, I do this because I'm this, 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 this. I do this because I was in the nonprofit world. And I really want to make an impact. Yeah, fine, whatever. But if someone else says it, it's far more powerful, right? The like videos, once they get to know you, and these are short one to three minute videos on Facebook or whatever, then you want to create a little bit longer type of videos where you give a little bit more value. It could be five to 10 minutes, whether YouTube or Facebook, yeah? Facebook Lives. Release some of your best stuff, guys. I can't stress this enough. Release some of your best stuff that are paid content you know, interviews, selfies, webinars, that's all should be for free. VSLs, shorter VSLs are video sales letters where it's just words on the screen and your voiceover generally. Webinars could be on camera, little picture of you in the corner there with PowerPoint slides or Canva, I love Canva. Check out Canva, uh, fantastic company. Trust, then once they get to know you and like you, you can retarget people on Facebook because you can say, I want to target people and watch 25% of any of my videos. Then you could say, hey, check out my $7 book. Just pay shipping and handling. It's free. Check out my Go Viral Challenge course. It's $7, a dollar a day for seven days challenge, whatever, right? Go to my webinar. Then you have the right to ask for people's emails before they even give it to you. You have the right to get people to maybe book a call with you because you've added some, given some value. Make sense? You can streamline this entire process to 60 to 90 minutes or less if you have the right psychological triggers, the right video testimonials, the right team, the right presentation. So really, uh, you know, the business model is where a lot of people fall short. High ticket is the key, guys. How long does it take you to make 10000 a month? If you've got $2,000 clients, only five. Take you a lot more if you're selling $10 products, 1000 $5,000 clients, two clients a month. You don't need a lot, right? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. 20,000 a month, even to a million dollar a year track record, you only need, you know, 10 clients or so a month at 8,000 a month. 
that's wishful thinking for a lot of you guys at the beginning, but you get the drift. Don't go too low ticket initially. Your story is your second powerful secret because facts tell and stories sell. You know, with this whole, um, you could say iceberg effect, right? People want to have, get results. Yeah. This is so powerful. I, I kid you not. This is really the best of NLP and everything I've learned about personal development. We all want results. Who here wants better results? Right? We all do. We're going to change our behavior. Yes. What we do. Behavior. How we act. But below the surface is how we think. Below the surface is how we feel. We all know we should be exercising, drinking more water, not eating fatty food, fries, Big Macs like we did recently. All right. I'm just, you know, I did. I hadn't had McDonald's in about 10 years and something deep inside of me. Back when I was six or seven, I was indoctrinated by my dear father to have McDonald's once a week. <gasps> Shock horror. That's what most kids did in the 70s and 80s, right? Michelle, is that you? No, no, that's, okay, that's so personal. This is a bit too personal. That's an attack. People like get a bit, you know, McDonald's has got a very emotive language to it now. The word McDonald's, Maccas. But anyway, that's the power of, you know, understanding you may not, you know, you know you need to do what you need to do to be successful. Principles of success are timeless. But we just don't feel like it. We just don't like feel like waking up at 5 a.m. in the morning. We just don't feel like drinking more water and eating less junk food because our emotions are impacted without us knowing sometimes. We get emotional. Who here sometimes gets emotional? Controlled emotion is critical. We all do, guys. We all are emotional creatures. If we were robots, we'd be robots. We're human. All right, good on you. No junk food. I am not endorsing Big Mac. It was a, it was a big mistake. I, I, I feel guilty. Anyway, but it, you know, it lends itself as a story. I, oh, I'm going to tell people how I had Big Mac, how bad and guilty I felt. All right, that's one thing I'll get out of this Big Mac. That was positive. Anyway, but your physiology, guys, is what impacts everything. What is physiology? Have a guess what physiology means. What is physiology? Have a Big Mac. Stop it. Have a Luxa, bro. All right. Luxas are great. Body stance. That's one. Your bearing. That's kind of right. What else? It's your breathing. It's your blood flow. It's your chi, your life energy. I'm standing up as you can tell because that's the way I like presenting. If you present sitting down, is that the same energy? Your vibration. Thank you, Angel. It's your state of being. It's be, do, have. Once you get this, guys, your videos are going to be so much more powerful, yeah? Because you want to elicit emotion. Do you see where this comes in? Your courses, your videos, your, your everything needs to, you need to be in the right state yourself. You need to get into super productivity and, you know, walk the talk before you can really impact people with your content. So powerful. Once you get this, stories sell because they, you know, get you at an emotional, almost physiological level to get you to take action. So the, the hero's journey, we may have heard about it before, the call to action. This is the last couple of slides, guys. Uh, it's so critical. You know, this is about not just telling great stories. All the best movie, you know, Steven Spielberg's of the world followed the heroes, Joseph Campbell's. Look it up, type it, I'll just type it in, Joseph Campbell. Um, you know, Hero's Journey. And there's a few storytellers here, I can tell. Uh, and this is kind of a quick summary of what the Hero's Journey is. It's like the original version, like 17 steps to it, but let's dumb it down to seven. Call to adventure. What is your mission? We started off with talking about our mission and our story, yeah? Because without a powerful mission, you're not going to get off your twitch and wake up at 5 a.m. in the morning and join the 5 a.m. club to do what you need to do in life. I'm not saying you need to wake up at 5 a.m., but you get my drift. You, you are going to be reluctant. It's, you're going to be the reluctant hero, all right, because it's like, oh, my gosh, I can't save the world. You don't have to save the world. You just need to save your little tribe that you want to focus on and serving. Don't try to save the world. You're not going to be able to do it. Then the next step is meeting your mentor, Obi-Wan Kenobi. I'm your only hope. Yeah? Style, I mean, 
3 19 a.m here says michelle that is amazing thank you for sticking and staying where are you like where is in the world it's 3 19 a.m my goodness oh you're amazing new zealand wow i am really you know untouched I really am you know, if you stayed up for 3 a.m that's amazing really appreciate it meeting with the mentor find the right sort of mentors and coaches so critical tests and allies and enemies you got to find partners you know to be successful in business you need st the strategist the visionary you need the sales and marketing guru you need operations and technology you know experts are you all three chances are we're max two out of three unless you're elon musk i <laughs> bring it back to elon so understand you need partners I've got the likes of, you know, Ben and Natalia and Stefan, all these amazing team members. You can't do it alone, guys. And then you are going to come up with tests and get into the pit where in the compactor and Star Wars are gradually squishing everyone. And then you will get the rewards and the road back to share what you've learned. Um, sorry, Amal, if you're being kicked out. Oh, your internet Wi-Fi. Go, for, go upgrade. All right, that way we don't have to be kicked out. Sorry about that. But Star Wars has really inspired a whole generation as an example. It's so funny because Ben now is making a fortune off just one channel talking about Star Wars. How ironic is that? Uh, write your own, rewrite your own hero's journey. This is what this is about. If you're not achieving the goals you want in life, look at your state. We you watch Star Wars. I'm half kidding. And really understand what is your mission? Is it compelling enough for you? Do you have the right mentors who've been there, done that, whatever you want to model? Do you have the right partners? Do you have the right enemies? Have you done the competitor analysis? So critical. If you want to know, it's the pit to the breakthrough, right? It's the rags to riches concept, if you want to look at that. And, you know, thirdly, if you want to come up with cool, dope stories, this is another way to describe it. D-O-P-E, the dream your obstacles, the struggles, the pit, the part, you know, partners, the lowest point, the enlightenment, resolution, success. You know, Natalia, you know, she's the unstoppable storyteller. She's the founder of that company. And, you know, we reconnected recently um, online. I hadn't seen it for years, right, um, Natalia? I think you're muted now. But, you know, you were part of Tony's <laughs> event. Yes. You know, this is an amazing story, the wrap-up. Uh, you know, we have gone a little bit longer, so I appreciate everyone staying on and only most of you guys have, have stuck with us, so thank you. You're going to love this story. It goes to show you the power of telling a simple story on, did you shoot this on Zoom or cell phone? Uh, I just used a very old cell yep. phone. Okay. And I hadn't, you know, seen Natalia for years. You know, we worked at the same TV network. We met up, you know, occasionally because she was in Argentina, a different part of the world. Um, and all of a sudden, I heard she's attending Tony Robbins' UPW event. And, you know, it's one of our clients. We were actually doing the videos for Tony last year and this year. And so I was like, oh, that's fantastic. And I was going to reach out to her. And I got busy. And then this was a few months ago. And then I saw this video of hers, which is just amazing. When we covered, well at UPW, when we covered health, we listened to Maria saying, listen to your gut, and Tony saying, whatever you believe in will be, and talking about absolute what, absolute certainty, and then Dr. Tennant's talk about root canal, and people were in shock, how avoid root canal, so here's a story for you. And then she, I didn't see this one, I saw this one here. Oh, did I see the same one? It's the same video, is it? No, it's not the same video, I don't believe. Yeah, no, 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 I, I was very sad. That yeah. was just an intro. Yeah, and, and I think you edited it, so you actually went straight yeah. to grabbing attention. Watch this. Look how powerful this is. End of a stressful year for me. I was sleeping. Bang! I heard a noise. Woke up, stood up, and boom! I fell on the ground head first in a complete blackout. I regained consciousness, biting the floor. I took awareness of my surroundings, peeled off my teeth from the ground, there was blood. I you, right? I mean, how, you know, gruesome, but it's so engaging. I'll share the link with you guys. Go save it. Watch it, you know, at your own leisure. But this powerful storytelling 
was about the power of certainty. And because she was sharing, you know, her craft as a storyteller, I reached out because one of my, you know, one of my big clients, we, you know, did a quarter million dollar launch recently just on a two day event is a dentist. And like, whoa, what is this? Right. She's talking about something dental. And I've been immersed in the whole, you know, dental world, helping young children develop straight teeth naturally. Da, da, da. Anyway. And it, just drew me in. I reached out. I said, Natalia, wow, what, that was incredible. And uh, so we really we reconnected. Next thing you know, she's presenting at Tony Robbins' UPW preview event. I was able to invite her. I showed this video. Um, I said to success resources, she's amazing. She, you know, she ended up presenting, co-presenting, and now she's part of our incredible team. And you know, she, you know, she's gone through so much just the last you know year or two. That's another story. You know, she had to start, you know, a business from scratch, you know, literally and uh, recently. But now if you share amazing, powerful stories, and she's been doing this for 20 odd years, right? You've been an actress, storyteller, teacher for, for many, many years. So my point is, it's this power of story. You never know what your story is, how it can impact people. And uh, so look, that's it. You know, we've covered some different aspects of going viral. We've covered different aspects of, you know, getting high ticket clients. We're going to open up. And you guys have been amazing because you've only, only a few people have dropped off. Um, and we're going to open up the Q&A. We'll stay here for another, what time is it? Uh, I've already almost hit the two hour mark. So we've hopefully over delivered a little bit and not kept you from sleeping. I'm sorry, Michelle should be dreaming. Um, but uh, opening up to Q and A time now. Before we open up to Q and A time, as mentioned, uh, with permission, is it okay if I just tell you a little bit about what we do? You're not going to get you to join anything, uh, but we can tell you a bit about it. If you're interested, we'll give you a website and you can learn more about it. Fair enough? Yes, says Angel. All right, terrific. Uh, so our inner circle is really a family, you could say. You know, Ben and his wife and his two daughters. You get to babysit them when we want to watch movies. If you join our inner circle, I'm just kidding. If you're in New York, um, my wife, beautiful. I've got two boys. This is my eldest, Kai. And we have a lot of fun. We'll, I'm literally neighbors with Ben three minutes away. Uh, Natalia, the Unstoppable Storyteller. We've got this incredible team uh, of, of just, you know, really fantastic human beings. That's all I can say. You're really here to inspire, to connect, and to share help people, you know, really fulfill their ultimate potential to make a difference in the world, make an impact. Stephanus, the rock star, you know, he's all like hair is nicely cut up. Now, where are you, Stephanus? You've hidden yourself. But he was hello, a, hello. He was a bit of a rock star back I'm in the here. day. Where are you? Uh, turn on your video. But, uh, you know, people don't believe me when I say he was a rock star uh, in Greece. And you can see a lot bit of a heartthrob there. You know, long hair. People like used to, you know, ask him what type of conditioner did you use. But um, anyway, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he was also on the military guard, right? One of the top presidential guards as part of the national service. But now he's a, you know, a rock star, tech whiz, funnel hacker, CTO, you name it. So he's an amazing part of our team. We know, you know, you need different elements. You need master storytelling, video marketing, the strategy, the tech stuff. So we've comp the organic, you know, YouTube stuff as well, if you want to get into that. Uh, so we've put together an amazing team to help serve uh, folks like yourself. And we put together a mastermind, you know, group. And this is not the typical mastermind. We're, I'm at the third decade of my entrepreneurial journey. And I've recently heard someone that's in the first 10 years, you're paying your dues, you're learning. And the next 10 years, you're really gaining some expertise. And the third decade is if you really want to teach, that's probably the best time to teach, right? So while you still have some, you know, clients and so on, just like we do, but we're shifting our focus. Let's, we started off as an academy coaching. We had the irresistible offer to work with Tony Robbins' team and so on and so forth. So we just did that for two years. But I said to my client, Look, we really want to focus on let us be one of your star speakers instead of behind the scenes helping the Gary Vs, the Tony Robbins and so on. So this is what we're doing now. We've created a flagship new program called the Inner Circle. We're going to help you master what we call the star infomercial funnel, your branding, your business model, your videos, et cetera, et cetera. All the little nuances of this. There's lifetime support, live coaching. 
like up to three times a week. All right, this is full on. Right, we don't know where you are in your journey. We've got slightly different programs、uh, depending on where you're at in your journey, but that's our commitment to our clients. It's not like a six week course and good luck to you, or not even a twelve week course and that's it. Good luck to you after that, and or pay me a lot more money if you want to get deeper access. Well, we want to do something that's really different in the industry. We're going to teach you all the elements of how to put all these different things together as well. The video KLT metrics, being only present as well on Facebook or YouTube, not just Facebook or YouTube. Right? Retargeting is key. So, if you really want to look into this, you know, we're launching next month the first phase.、Um, you know, it's as I said, we have different. Slightly different programs. If you're some of you are much more experienced, so we have a slightly more experienced program, and、um, we got a whole bunch of fast action bonuses. I'm not going to tell you to sign up today. Right? That's not what we're going to say. I'm just giving you a quick overview. You'll get as a bonus if you were to join. You know, in a, in a few weeks' time or whatever. Right? That we give people plenty of time to think about it. Ben's YouTube viral mastery program. So Ben, who you saw, is putting a live event starting nine week program over spanning over three months. Uh, there's a couple of week break over Christmas. I mean, live course, live training curriculum, and our seven figure personal brand will throw in as well.、Uh, it's a lifetime coaching program on Mondays, and Ben's is on Tuesdays. Anyway, don't pay the high five to six figures to get us to do this for you. Build your funnels and whatnot.、Uh, you can join us simply by. You know, first seeing whether this is for you or not, right? It's it's low pressure. For now, I'm taking every single application. I'm going over it,、um, and we're looking for case studies. I、right? I want to personally get involved. I'm not going to put you to one of my team members to do a consultation with you. If you want a free strategy session, as Forbes Riley mentioned, that I'm offering for a limited time.、Um, thank you, Greg.、Uh, you can just get a jump on. A call with me, but you got to fill out an application form so I get to understand a bit about your background. Fair enough. Scale with impact. If you want us to give you the templates and the systems, imagine us giving you the Canva, the PowerPoint systems and templates. You edit. Imagine us giving you all our website、uh, coding, click funnels. We use click funnels, very popular. We can share with you the exact funnel so you adjust it. We help you go through step by step building your brand, etc. Right, so absolutely, Angel. Right, you've got to break through the noise, position yourself correctly with your messaging,、um, with your branding, setting up the funnels. We're going to work with you closely over an, as long as time you really need. Right, and we can scale this because we've got a team. We've got the power of group coaching with recorded training, with also one-on-one support from Stephanus and myself throughout. You know this program as well. Right, different programs of different levels of access. Of course,、uh, we're not going to get you to buy because we don't know you. We we need to get on the phone with you to really understand: is this for you? And maybe this program is more suited for where you are in your journey. Or maybe just get access to our free stuff that we have as well. Right until you feel ready to, you know, get our seven dollar course or whatever it may be. All right. So scale with impact. Just going to type the HTTP there so you can click on it.、Uh, otherwise, it won't work. Thank, oh, that's quick. Thank you. So it's simple. When you click on it, it just redirects、uh, to a page. Just save this somewhere.、Uh, let's see where is it. Scale with impact. Thank you, Angel. Thank you, Greg. Hope to have a chat with you.、Uh, this website. Is my website down? My goodness. Is that is what is it? Murphy's Law. Sorry. <laughs> All right, Steph, can you check my tech whiz? You can see I, I, it's working. I just checked it.、Oh, look, the site can't be reached. Ooh, thank you, Angel. What is going on? Oh, there we are. Temporary glitch. So hopefully you'll get it. So does it work now, guys? It sometimes takes. There's a glitch sometimes for a few seconds here and there. Angel, can you click on it? Angel, he said it was turning around and around. It keeps turning around. Hopefully, it starts working.、I'll, you know, you can now get access to it. It's temporary. When I、second. when I didn't put the HTTPS, it it worked perfectly. Yeah, 
Actually. You were into that. Oh, maybe you guys overloaded it. Maybe there's too many people clicking on it. Thank you. Makes my, you know, makes me feel better. But yeah, it's just a few questions. It's like 10 or 12 questions. Um, and you can just basic information. Uh, so we get an idea and uh, you can schedule a call with us straight away, you know, depending on when you're, you know, available. So while we are in this early phase, we literally just launched this a few weeks ago. Uh, we're going to have the first batch of people and we want to, you know, really over deliver to create amazing case studies. Okay. We're going to reveal everything, the pricing, how much it costs, what's involved, what is it suited for you? Who's it not suited for? We'll reveal all that obviously on the call. We're not going to get you to sign up on the spot. Make sense? We're not going to do that. We want you to think about it. We'll just email you the details of the program etc. Et so here's the free gift we promised you guys for staying all the way. You simply go to this URL and you can get access to our internal playbook, which will give you, you know, we already gave you as a bonus, the video production playbook. So you learn how to edit videos, or outsource the editing. Um, if you simply want to learn the scripting side, there's really two elements, right? You got a script, then you got to produce and edit and shoot, right? And then you're also going to be on camera. So we really want to help you in the seven-figure personal brand component to really get you confident on camera. So, you know, not everyone can talk extemporaneously. Uh, we help you, you know, craft your scripts first so you feel very natural. All part of being a star presenter. Thank you, Michelle, for going through that. Um, so that's it in a nutshell. And uh, we're going to open up the Q&A for anyone who wants to stay for another 10, 20 minutes. I've got an appointment at 11, 25 minutes to go. Um, we haven't lost anyone. Amazingly, uh, there's still the same number of people who, st who started off with roughly, I think people went up and down. And thank you for the beautiful remarks. Um, thank you. Thank you, uh, Hatamaki, Angel, Michelle, Andy, et cetera. That looks, thanks, looks great. We're just going to open it up to you know, some Q and A's. Anyone wants any questions? Uh, I'll stay for another 20 minutes or so. Um, yeah. Thank you. Love the stuff. Oh, Hey, you know, w there's one piece of technology I want to share with you guys, and it's a new thing we've tried and it's an amazing way to get testimonials autom almost on autopilot. Um, it's so cool. You can use your cell phone, record, ah, that's a cow with a wig. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I typed oh, the wrong. This, this app is amazing. Isn't yeah. it? Yeah, check it out. I'll show you. We did a, a challenge just a few weeks ago, the Go Viral Challenge. And look at the testimonials we got that just came in automatically. Just in seven days in the Go Viral Challenge, I learned amazing tools and strategies I haven't learned in all these expensive courses I've done with so many famous gurus. I love that content. They were always delivering like they teach you the lesson of what is the genuine over delivering. Uh, sometimes it's very easy to attend courses and then um, actually go home and do nothing. But of course, at these challenges, um, they were set such that we could go and actually do something. And in so doing, I was already creating my videos as I was going. Uh, I already have a script. I already have my first video shot. And uh, we are now actually going through the process of editing and, and perfecting it. And I love how uh, the mission that uh, Kian and Star Producer... We had dozens of people submitting their testimonials using this technology. And it's really cool. It's if you, um, and you walk people through the process. So you can see Stefan is here. So that's it. Seven days of full of content for the Go Viral Challenge. And we hope you found it incredible value and amazing, insightful. And now all we ask is just a little bit of feedback. And if you can do that on video, if you can do that on camera, that would be even more amazing. And it's going to be very you simple. People through the process. Yes, I want to give some feedback or pass, right? And then you, they type the name. And then you sh show them an another video. All right. Question you number one. It's like you interview them. How cool is this? 
So you guide people through the process to give little short snippets uh, of how they felt, what they learned, et cetera, et cetera. You can try this for free. You can just go to this link here. Yeah. And you can sign up for free. Give it a shot. It's just amazing. Can't uh, stress how powerful this video. Yeah, it eventually it will charge if you want to get the advanced version with a lot more access, whatever they charge, I don't know, ten, fifteen dollars, whatever it is. Uh, but check it out. Uh, I am an affiliate, so if you you know sign up, I make like twenty percent or something. You know, uh, that's the only thing. But just go check it out for free. Obviously, it's a cool. If you're a coach or consultant, testimonials, guys, are so powerful. You saw the power of Forbes Riley video, right? But that we had a whole production team there just to happen, right? But I'm saying if your clients can just whip out the cell phone and answer a few things with their cell phone, you will start collecting dozens and dozens of testimonials. Really powerful. I'm going to open up to questions. Uh, any, if you want to join the panel, by all means, uh, if you've got questions, raise your hand. Uh, Angel, put up your hand. You want to join the panel? If you're going to raise your hand, it means you're going to, we're going to invite you to the panel. All right. So raise your hand only if you want to get to the panel. So Angel, is that okay? I'm going to put you to the panel, promote you to the panel. Another 15 minutes before I get a, before I get a run. Uh, I'm going to promote Janiki. I'm going to promote one at a time. We'll give you two, three minutes each so we can get through as many as we can. Uh, if you've got any quick questions, I'm going to make you allowed to I'll make you a co-host so you can turn on your video if you'd like. If you want to stay anonymous, you can do that. You can just unmute and ask questions. If you want to say hello to us, hey, Angel. Oh, my goodness. You're a friend of Natalia, Nat? Yeah. All right. Hello. Please unmute and I'm Angel. She looks I, I love Natalia. She's, oh, she's my angel. Thanks, thanks for joining us. So how can yeah, we help? This has been awesome. I mean, I think that and um, oh you will know this, I've gone after many shitty objects to find the right one, right? Mm. And I just didn't feel it until this presentation, right? Oh. Because I just feel like right now with mom being, and Bob's too, so part of me, but I'm working with mom. Sure. I just know that, like, the newest statistic that came out was almost 900,000 women have left the workforce. Wow. And recently? For recently. Yes, since COVID. My, a million. This is US, I presume. No, this is around the country. I, I mean, around the, the world. I believe okay. it might be just U.S. It might. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. But anyways, it's a, it's a really lot. big number, right? So, you know, moms are just always so busy, anyways. So, to to be just dragged down with more stuff, more advertising and stuff, I don't think it's the right way to appeal to them. Um. So, anyways, my biggest question is, like, okay, so, um, I wanted to know about like putting together all these things because I know there's like click funnels. There's like you've shown some video things. You've yep. like there's newsletters and stuff. Like, is there one place that you will show us to just go and have all of the stuff in one place? Or do you have to go we, to different yeah. platforms I mean, to get all your stuff together? In the, in the 20 years that I'm you know, doing this in different capacities, I haven't found one company that can do everything unfortunately so, so it's, you know half a dozen pieces of software that we use you know from click funnels to okay. active campaign for emails for vimeo for video uh storage for teachable for storing our paid content etc zapier to connect things uh so there's um, you know there is a there's a tech component as we explained which is why we have stephanus on our team to help folks you know piece it together the reality is if it was easy everyone would be doing it now it's a lot easier than it was 10 years ago before you even had this software because it was a lot more complicated back in the day when you could only use wordpress or other pieces of software to try to you know add put plugins and all this stuff to, to do all these different things but you know using different services we can a lot more easily put things together all right. The, the biggest reason why I'm asking is because um, I don't know if you've heard of Groove Funnel. 
Yes, so I have. Oh, here's my, I'm a, I'm a member. I paid the lifetime access. The okay. reason why I did that, I'm a big fan of Mike Full Same. Uh, at this, if you read through the whole Groove, you know, uh, forums, and I can even because I'm so like, <laughs> yeah, they they want to kind of put everything together. My opinion, and I'm biased because I, I am actually a paid member, so you would think that oh, everyone, I'm not advising my clients to go and use Groove Funnels just yet, right? Because they're still in developmental process, there's still bugs. You know, they need a year or two to iron things out. I tell people, by all means, go and buy this platform because it's like you're investing in a company that in two, three years' time, you can save thousands a year. Yes or yes. All right? that's, the, that's the value proposition. Yeah. But for now, I still use the different platforms. Make sense? Okay. So that's-, that's the biggest thing I wanted to know because I'm on the 14-day trial yeah. and it just seems like a great investment and he yeah. seems like a it's very a good long-term smart, investment. sincere guy. I- Okay. Yeah, definitely. That's just my, you know, honest opinion. Yeah, that. and in the meantime, I'm using different things yeah. to try to bring my stuff together. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay, Thank terrific. you. Thanks for the question. I hope you can schedule a call, have a chat, and learn more about how we can help you reach out to more mothers, All right? Scale with impact. Terrific. Thank you, Angel. Uh, let's invite another folk. If another person, um, who else put up their hand? It's Greg. That's, that's Greg there. Can I come in and come on? Uh, yeah, you can come on, Greg. I'll just... Uh, invite you promote the panelist all right greg jackson welcome let me unmute my co-host so once you've okay i think you're on just go to turn on your video or your audio janiki i'll uh, address your question in a second all right greg welcome hey, yay hey, hey greg. welcome Natalie, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you for everything you've been doing. This You're crushing it. You're killing it. You're motivating so many people um, with authenticity, not with, with hype or overhype, and we don't have to get into details about that. Um, Keen, thank you. I only saw parts of the beginning and some of the end. I resonate with you right away. Oh, wow. I'm comfortable with you right away, and I think you, you hear that and you know that. And there's orders of magnitude difference between what you're doing and how you're doing it from all, quote unquote all the others, including the folks that you've been at the back office and making it happen. So I, I may want you in my back office, probably because of the resonance. Fantastic. I met Natalie. I'm going like this because Natalie, you're over here, and Keen, you're over here. But it's like the Brady Bunch, right? It's like you know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, anyway. who's gonna start singing first? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm not a singer. <laughs> Not me. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I told Natalie. Bunch. We're still on for the challenge, Brady Natalie. That, uh, the Brady Bunch. Yeah, it's coming back. It's got, again, there we go. Is, yeah, all right, sorry. It's like, we're too much, too much. Interest. So we're looking up, we're looking, no, I love it. Um, <laughs> the KBB model, the UPW model, the great stuff. And you need multiple portal, portals of entry for people at different places. I'm an executive in the med tech field or a consultant, wow. two executives. And I have two things, and I'm not going to talk about, you saw my post, um, launching and transforming holistic health and integrative wellness things. Absolutely. That's not my main focus right now. Okay. Natalie and Keen, we could talk offline about the reasons for that. Sure. Right now, I'm here to launch med tech uh, uh, processes and methodologies for medical technology companies specializing in digital health, and digital therapeutics. The need for medical technology to synchronize with what's going on in the world with wearables, with mm-hmm. artificial intelligence, with machine learning, natural language processing is massive. The ability to be predictive supportive to patients and people and physicians are huge. The ability to abuse that data and do stuff that is massive as well. Um, yeah. I'm going to stay on what's going to help people, what's going to help clients. I had, had been working not necessarily not with Natalie, Natalia, Natalia um, but Dean and Tony and, and their coaches in developing all my various modules for launching. But a mastermind model, the hyper model, click funnels model. Is not going to work for my clients. It's not going to work for my people. Yeah. And it really didn't 
resonate with me. And that's the best I could say. Now, Natalia, we've had some exchanges about that. I'm going to be, it didn't resonate with me. What are your thoughts on how I can use organic models, uh, professional models, um, corporate models, I'm uh, sorry, bring your stuff, this kind of stuff into corporate models. I have a, a, all those different modules I was looking to develop that, again, I couldn't figure out how to sync it with this mastermind pump up, jump up and down. And then a customer uh, client called and said, we need all of that. They didn't say it like that. One year, big ticket price tag, a very reasonable price tag. I'd like, I want to, number one, stay focused to launch what my client wanted and needed for the next year. I'm a consultant and a contract, and I want to keep focused on that because the model that I'm doing there can either help them even transform further after the year, or I can bring that elsewhere. I'll try to stick with them. How do I develop this kind of stuff? Yep, I get it. So this is great. myself. Absolutely. Um, tell me a bit about your ideal clients again. So you mentioned, you know, processes and technology, digital health, therapeutics. You want to help? Who is your ideal, ideal avatar, micro niche client? Right. So that's changing over time, right? Right now, I think a mid-sized company, mm -hmm. at least a couple hundred million in sales. Yep. It's well-staffed and positioned for growth and transformation and committed to that. Mm -hmm. Is in the medical technology field mm -hmm. and wanting to transform to incorporating their technology into the digital ecosystem. Give me some examples. One example of, a, of, an idea, of an existing client or ideal client. I do not. I found something being recorded. I don't want to reveal my okay. current client. Don't, don't reveal. That's a, a, something, you know, as a comparable. 300 million in sales right now has um, various product offerings in, in dental and medical and environment. And they're looking to digitize all their equipment okay. so when it gets out into the field it's part of a digital ecosystem is that as much detail okay. as you want or that's more enough. that's enough that's yeah that's good enough so you you're offering a consulting service and then an implementation service as well to help them do it so you've got a team do you have outsource partners or this is your own company that can deliver the transformation for that? this is me i'm coming in as an internal consultant working mostly remotely with their senior management they're directing their managers got it so you're working in and going to be project managing these uh, transformations. You have your vendors and uh, the team who can execute for, for them. It's going to be mostly uh, I'm their internal team with the their team. current vendors. I have a whole cadre of people. I could bring one or more in. Yep. That's not, we'll see what happens. All right. So in that case, right, you still need to build your brand assets, right? So if you want to be positioned as an expert, you know, Simon Sinek is a classic example of someone who became an overnight guru, right? In, in not, you know, and he's hired by the biggest companies now to give talks. And who's that? Simon Sinek, S I N E K. Start with why. You're familiar with that TED talk, perhaps? It start is a video. If you look up Simon Sinek, uh, he did a TED talk that went viral, and it's 18 minutes. And uh, you should watch it if you have 50 million, which is a lot for Ted, which is not, you know, start with the why. And um, he initially wanted to go down the B2C route, right? That's the story anyway, like a, like a Tony Robbins. And then he created this video that because he was positioned in Ted, corporates started, you know, reaching out to him. So it's a slightly different model. Like effectively, that's what I ended up doing, right? I ended up going from, you know, initially B2C to B2B because with this nine figure, multiple hundred figure million a year company, success resources reached out. So you can still build your personal brand. You need to create your trailer, but you need to create your Ted talk, right? People who've got money, but not much time are not going to sit through necessarily a long seven day challenge. Right. Right. So the decision makers, but they've got time for Ted talks. Yeah. A lot of decision makers, uh, they're on LinkedIn, they're on whatever. So you can utilize and build your brand assets around your target decision maker, which is some HR person, executive inside those companies. 
with AI, you can reach out to them on LinkedIn, on Facebook and run, but you need to still build, and I'll go through on a private call with you, you know, give you some feedback on your website, your brand assets. Do you have a really professional presentation that, you know, in 18 minutes, someone who's your ideal client will go, I get it. This guy understands how to, to do what he's talking about. And I need to reach out and book a consultation with him or, you know, check out, you need to put together, I presume you've been doing this for quite a number of years. Yeah. 30, 35. Yeah. You've got the credibility. You've got, you know, you, I mean, what are you missing? What resonated with you in our presentation that you say, Hey, maybe this could actually apply to what I'm doing. What was it? Um, in stages, it was Natalia telling me you're a trusted, confident friend with a great program. It was seeing how you had everything queued up, you know, sign up, queued up, and then it alerted me. So there's the automation of it. Yeah. Uh, there was how you came across and your credibility and who you've been the back office for. Yep. Then it was the resonance of how you're coming across. Yes. Um, I'll, I'll stop there per se. Yeah. And then it was yeah. the temp the templates and the walking us through okay, everything. Fantastic. That, that, you know, ultimately you've got systems as well and the templates for companies to deploy. Uh, you, you need to create, replicate to some degree what we've done, right? You need to create your trailers, your, your webinars. You need to create a short, medium, long webinar. Uh, you need to create the right type of a funnel. But who is going to be your Natalia? Who is in the industry? See, Chet Holmes is one of my mentors, was. He, he died way too young in his 50s. He used to work for Warren Buffett's uh, right-hand business partner, Charlie Munger. I'm sure you may have heard of Charlie uh, and definitely Warren Buffett. And uh, Chet would go in and double you know, divisions year after year after year, came out on his own, and he would only target Fortune 100 companies. So the first thing I would do in your case is, who's your dream 50, dream 20 clients? I do the research and how do you gain their attention? Right. What podcasts could you be interviewed on? What assets do you need to put in place? You can do the old-fashioned outreach format, but you, who do you know who knows someone in those industries? But then if you don't have your assets in place, the automation and all that, uh, and you digitize yourself, your expertise, how, how are you going to help digitize you know, and automate? If you're missing certain brand assets, that's what we talk about. Most people think just whacking up a website is good enough. But I don't see you, feel you, and see that entire process in action. How do I feel confident that you're going to do that for me? Make sense? So, you know, depending on where you're at, we would, you know, apply different, you know, strategies. So that's that's in a nutshell. Right? Okay. So if B2B is slightly different from B2C. You don't need to – at the same time, you can advertise really effectively on LinkedIn as well. But you need to know your niche market. As you said, it's evolving. So we would spend time with you to figure out through your Eulerian story and destiny, your experience, your background, and what influences you had, your passions. We'll figure out a micro niche for you. You don't have to target everyone in the medical field. You need to figure out which ones are the perfect clients initially given your background, your experience, your passions, your et cetera, et cetera. Amazing. Well, well, what's important is I want to stay focused and dedicated to my current client, not do anything that competes with them, not do anything that brings in their competitors. My, my ethics and mor morality, 35 years oh, in the industry is huge, but I don't want to start working crazy, super sicko hours because I've got a daughter and I've got my own social life that I want. It's that balance that I want. And so that's, that's what we'd look at in terms of your goals and your business model, right? To see how can we scale if possible? How can we help you to help more people? Uh, but at the same time, do your one-on-ones uh, where needed. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of inkling. Love to continue this conversation offline, uh, online, but off here. <laughs> and uh, thank you for sharing. Now, it's really cool to have people like yourself jump in. We never know. It's like a box of chocolate. We have, have no idea who's going to jump on. So it's always tricky to cater for everyone. But thank you for sharing your generous words. My pleasure. Thank you. And thank you again, Natalia. Thank you, Nat. Thank you, Greg. All right. Terrific. All right, my 11 o'clock, unfortunately, is one minute away. Uh, look, we're going to do this pretty much every Thursday. You can jump on and get on. This is a, you know, uh, thing we're going to do. And people, if you just want to join in at the end and ask me questions, if you know that we're going to be doing this every Thursday around this time, we'll send emails out to everyone. Look, thank you, everyone, our incredible team, Ben, Nat, you know, Steph, Kyle, Feb, you name it. You guys know who you are. 
thank you so much. Have a fantastic Thursday. Is that today, Thursday? Okay, good, good, good. Just want to make sure I'm not loopy again. Thank you. Those yes, of you today's find us Thursday. Oh, yes. <laughs> Mi Michelle, head to bed. Thank you for staying until 4 a.m. So worth it, Friday here. Let's connect, Michelle. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what you do. Love to hear more about it. Alex, Greg, thank you. Thank you. Uh, you guys are amazing. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.